hello. Welcome everybody to our BioCode Lab LPL Pro CSGO stream. My name is Matsy. I'm coming to you live with none other than the one and only, the man from the other side of the picture. It's Two Tap Tony. Yeah, uh, good day, good day. It's uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Counter Strike, Matt. It's been a while. Yeah, it's it's been a little bit, hasn't it? And I'm definitely keen to get into it again. But uh, before we do get into it, we do want to say a quick shout out to LPL for obviously making this stream happen today. The reason we're here, as you all might have seen across the uh, Twitterverse there, is because after LPL did have some internal discussions, they have made the executive decision to uh, rescind their previous rule set decisions and invite Arena Esports back into the LPL Pro League. And so as a result, Arena Esports and uh, Elemental Esports have made a decision amongst each other, a gentleman's handshake, if you will, to have a rematch here tonight. And it will be played and broadcasted right here, right now. And we do want to say a big thank you as well to everyone who did provide their feedback on to LPL. Big shout out to Conky um, for facilitating that process, being a, a voice of the people, if you will, in order to make that happen. So then there's full um, transparency and good smooth communication between LPL and the people and hopefully um yeah we can have more smooth communication in the future but regardless tonight tonight we do want to say a uh, big shout out to some other uh, amazing people as well big shout out to, to uh, none other than our sponsors here this evening which will be Rocket Samsung Biocode Lab and a Sky City Sky Slide there. Big shout out to them. But uh, Tony, we've got a, uh, a matchup as we were talking about earlier on today. Who are we going to be seeing? Yeah, we're going to be seeing Arena versus Elemental. Elemental, uh, a team I've seen around the the top of the Oceanic level of Counter Strike for a little bit now. You know, those one one of those new up and coming teams. Of course, Arena two. Some, some very familiar faces there. Of course, I think of Keo. I think it's Terry. I think some very sharp individual players. Of course, Elemental as well. I've got some very sharp individual players. You've got Isaiah. You've got Rory, Reaps, Chief. The whole shebang there. This is going to be a crazy matchup, I feel. Absolutely, Tony. And speaking of, you know, let's take a look at our uh, team rosters before we do dive into it as well there. Just going to load that one up uh, as soon as it wants to. Maybe soon. Maybe. <laughs> no, we should be we should be getting that one up uh, momentarily here. Hopefully, um, it does load up. Oh, maybe it's just uh, struggling a little bit there. But as you can see, we've got our arena roster on our screens now. It is going to be Keo, Oath, Tetris, Terry, and Neo this time. I believe there was a player subbed out of um, this roster this evening, um, mm. and. Also, on the other side of things, for obviously the uh, Elemental Esports side, we did have a player or two subbed out there as well. I believe 4LX actually playing on LAN this evening um, elsewhere, so unfortunately won't be able to make it for um, the Arena side of things. But obviously for Elemental, they've got a sub or two in as well. They've got uh, Rory, Reaps, Isaiah, Word, and Juice who will be the roster representing this e uh, representing them rather this evening. So, keen to see how they all play together, Tony. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting to see Chief out uh, for Juice this evening, I believe. And I'm keen to see what Juice is capable of. Of course, I haven't actually gotten to see Juice in the server in quite a while. So, this is going to be an interesting one. And as you said, of course, for the other side, Arena, having one of their, uh, their brightest stars. Uh, I have to say, we saw some very, very crazy things, uh, of course, online and in the server from 4 in... You know, his previous few games, and of course, as you said, representing on LAN at the moment for a different team, Vertex, I believe. And Bolex has gone from strength to strength, and Arena, I imagine they wouldn't want to let go of him too easily. No, I think that um, that's going to be a bit of hot property, is the way I'd put it there, Tony. Uh, Bolex is definitely managing to step up for their team. Speaking of uh, stepping up for the team, though, Tony... Let's take a look at what our vetoes are going to be before we do get into the series. And uh, we do want to say a big thank you as well to everyone for bearing with us whilst we did deal with some technical difficulties there. Big shout out to the players for being real good troopers about it as well. Obviously, they're very keen to play and we're very keen to see this one go down. But Tony, take us through the vetoes. 
Yeah, so Vito's, uh, interestingly enough, no nuke going to be played this evening yeah. here. Elemental banning that one out. Ancient as well being taken out. So Vertigo going to be our first in the pool, Matt. Very reminiscent of uh, some of these teams that, of course, promoted up through uh, from the Challenger League. A lot of them like to play Vertigo, and it seems pro no different either. So Vertigo be going to be our first pick. Inferno then for our second pick by Arena. Overpass Mirage being taken out. So our decider going to be Dust. I feel very strategic heavy maps here for both of these teams as you said of course both rocking stand-ins this evening so it's going to be how well these players can adapt on the fly with some very very strat heavy maps being put in through from the vetoes yeah i'm eager to see how it's all going to go down you know it all it always makes me sad to see um ancient band out of the pool there but uh, that, that's because ever since it's come out, you know, it's had a, a special place in my heart. You know, having those Aztec vibes, always lovely to see some of those old classics um, pull through there. And the same kind of elements, obviously, Ancient and Aztec. Two different maps, but very similar in their theme. But nah, keen to see how it all goes down on a Vertigo, Inferno, and a Dust 2. You know, it's a pretty classic uh, map selection there. As you've said, coming through the Challenger... Um, pool there obviously you see those maps pretty commonly picked out nuke was also a big one that was um picked out for some time there in challenger and obviously some of these players having their upcomings um and you know their stories being developed through challenger like i think of terry and banana playing together a lot on um god i think it was uh caught off guard or maybe one of those other rosters from challenger and yeah they were able to really develop um pretty well and it's really great to see that they have managed to make their way up into the Pro League as well. Just um, for an update for everybody, we are going to be getting the game started as soon as possible. Just waiting on a player or two to hop into the server um, before we do do that. But we should be started um, as soon as, I believe, we've got one player um, just away from the PC at the moment. But they should be back um, as soon as they've managed to uh, resolve their issues there. Yeah, of course, it's always, it's always better to happen, you know. They're, they're, they've been waiting in the server for us. We had a whole bunch of technical issues that we had to get through. And, you know, they were like, is this game going to start? When is it going to start? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I might go grab myself some snacks, some dinner, some something to keep myself, uh, of course, alert and ready to frag out in this best of three map. Of course, only one best of three this evening. So it should be an interesting one. Hopefully it's chocked full of action as we of course get to see vertigo as our first map uh, we've seen a lot of these oceanic teams uh very very even in terms of sides of course originally when vertigo came into the pool it was very ct heavy we saw a lot of yeah. very very strong holes with mollies and of course smoke combos and such but it's gotten a little bit more even as a late and i'm curious to see how this first one goes for both these teams with standards this evening yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a really curious endeavor, isn't it? Because obviously not playing with your complete full five might have a bit of an impact on how you play as a team. You might be settling into more default heavy takes, for example, compared to maybe some of the more structured or eh, more unique plays that you do see of the teams that, you know, they have their full five, they've been practiced, they know exactly how it's going to go down. But I mean, obviously, with having substitutes, right, if they're, you know, commonplace, they might also be aware of some of those plays and might be involved in some of those practice sessions. So you definitely could see still some of the standard plays from the teams, you know, some of their more unique traits that are known for. But obviously, playing with the sub rather than your uh, main core player still does have its challenges there. So we'll see how the teams do adapt around them and whether we do see... One team or the other managed to prevail this evening, Tony. But first map being Vertigo. Do you feel like we could see a pretty aggressive um, start here from teams? Because obviously there's, you know, a pretty big commonality there where some teams really like to explode onto the sides, just to really send it and go as fast as possible. But with some other teams, they might, might take it a bit slower. But uh, actually, Tony, speaking of the teams, I think we're going to be getting into game, mate. Yeah, we're firing it off into the game. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is Arena versus Elemental. Fist around coming up. First map of this series. Vertigo, Elemental getting the start on the T side. Arena for the CC. A few stand-ins this evening, Matt. And it's going to be a very, very interesting one, I have to say. Elemental looking for some early mid-pressure potentially. Of course, Neo just juggling that one out for the moment. Rory tossing over the Util. 
a perk of Counter Strike map, as to opposed to another FPS, is you can toss the nades <laughs> over to your team if you don't know any of the lineups. Unfortunately, can't toss abilities over Tony in that other one. But alas, we are in Counter Strike today. Word and Coke gonna be trying to advance up towards the A site now. Terry, ready and posted up with their teammate Neo, trying to spray through the smoke there. Not gonna be able to manage it. So the bomb will go down there. Nade to try and react. Almost takes down Juice. Good to see they can fall back with their player intact though. And it pushes on for a 5v5 retake here. Yeah, 5v5 retake. Still a bit of util in the arsenal here for Arena. Here's going to be that smoke towards the ramp. Two flashes available. Some great shots coming out there. Able to hide towards the bridge. Now you can see Reese just playing around that pillar. Right click block. Going to gum out and some shots. Traded back though by Arena as they look to walk in the P250 from Isaiah. Looking for something behind sandbags, but it's a combination of kills there for Elemental. Playing the trades, playing the crosses well. And the pistol going to be picked up. Matt, Juice lucky to be alive from that nade, but overall Elemental holding it down with two. Keeping the money good going into this next one. Yeah, keeping it good and solid as so far. And hopefully they'll be able to bring that energy straight through towards the rest of this endeavor as well. So we do see a bit of utility come out from the CTC. And they brought up a thing or two. Terry pushing through the scaffolding will fall down there. Good start from the T's here. They do take a little bit of damage in consequence, but not enough to hurt them in the long term here. Looks like they are going to slow their pace a little bit now, though. Not look to rumble just yet. Just try and stir things up whilst the CTs just lay waiting in confusion for now. They've at least got a little bit of utility to try and slow the T's run as well, but we'll see if it does come into play. This is going to be an interesting one because you can see Word trying to walk up with his AK. Of course, has to clear every corner. Watch the sandbag. Still could be a player hiding behind that because they haven't cleared it with a molly or anything. But time is ticking down. Elemental need to get a move on into this site. Once Arena look to force them back on dropping a smoke and repositioning Neo. Shots coming out though. Elemental finding the better end of these kills because they've got the better weaponry. Matt is now just going to be left to one Arena. Well, I don't think they're going to be coming into this with the second round here. The UMP. Not too bad at a range like this, but Elemental, they've got the side on lock. Rory is looking to cover his teammates' angles. The swing from the Max 10, not too great. Rory out of reposition, also taken out once again. I said the UMP deadly at that range. Now the USP's been pulled out, but it's traded back. Elemental able to keep a few members still alive on the board, but these rounds are getting very, very spicy here for Arena. Absolutely, Tony. They're really turning up the heat there, and I'm keen to see just how far they can take it. Obviously, a little bit of a force from Arena does put them in to a bit of a tough situation at the moment, where they've got only pistols this time around. The T's still got free reign over the economy. Not nah, going to be going quite quickly towards this A site now. CT's doing a good job, though. Elevated angle here, Neo. Might catch one. Ooh, lines up, but Isaiah is able to take them down there. Nice start from the T side. Looks like they are going to be able to glide their way further forward as well now. Keo prepared around scaffolding, but the T's, they take a similar approach, just off to a halt before looking to go for more. Yeah, slow it down. Elemental, they need to keep Arena guessing. They've been very, very, I guess showing of how they want to take the site and arena with that info they've been rotating early over towards the a site and it's been hard to hit against so many arena players playing so many different off angles elemental now looking to shift up the pace maybe looking to rotate over towards b up through the ramp of course they have to deal with a player who's rotated into the site but the kill has been found over at a and it's seldom fake once again rotate to b never mind it's a hit going over towards A, you see Rory has one to play over towards the bridge and will be able to take it traded out. Elemental are all over the map to find all those kills. And a third round to their board. Yeah, it seems like Elemental are being the masters of the map this time around. Good start from them, but 
Now we are off to an arena buy round, and this is where the change up could completely come through here, Tony. We'll see if they are going to be able to manage something great. Keo on the AWP, the rest on the M4s. Plenty of util as well. This could be an amazing moment. Keo going for a swing, does spot one. They haven't gone for a shot though. Still playing very patiently, waiting for word to potentially fall off here. Looks like there's a few happenings over the other side of things as well. Keo not able to land the shot. Word starts off strong there. Towards the B side of things, there's a bit of fire being exchanged as well. Yeah, a bit of fire exchanged. Molotov out from Rory. An elemental. Just going to be throwing a few sets of nades over towards that B site, but they're looking to rotate it through the tunnel. This is the perk of Vertigo, Matt. You can go through this underpass or up through mid, and you can either split take B or you can split take A. It's really, really a versatile map for these T side takes. So you can see player forced off the angle. Is going to be a repeat though. The AWP shot comes through. One elemental player down, but still a few more to come. Repositioning here now is Geo. You can see over towards back side of the site. Does have a nice angle. If the player looks to walk up to the ramp with a great smoke, puts it in play to jump off onto the red box. Great traded back Molly here from the side of Arena. The bomb will go down. Elemental. So the three players up, Keo extremely low. That Molly does get a singed bit of feet too. But for the moment, Elements will have the sight this 3v3. 3v3, down to two now. Good shot from Keo there. Flashed off, gonna be falling now. Reaps, We're gonna creep up here. Does get spotted, but no. Takes down Keo, Tetris, and now Oath. Trying to get the defusal there. Time is ticking here, they're sticking it, but... Elemental prevail again, taking away round number four in their favor and completely annihilating our CT defenses. Yeah, CT defenses taken out of commission once again. Elemental. Really, really starting this game off with the tear, Matt. You can really sense that Arena are missing a, a key player here. Of course, Forlex not in the server for Arena and of course, Elemental with a stand-in too, but still a lot to show with this economic advantage. Deagle out, the shot's attempted, but still, Elemental continuing to put the pressure on his A site, and nothing that Arena can do to hold it. Juice even holding through this tunnel lurk position. Elemental have the site once again. Just up to the Deagle of one player here for Arena. We'll see if Oath can manage to hold true to their Oath. They're going for some shots, taking Juice all the way down to 1 HP, but they will not be able to claw away with it in the end there. It will be Elemental taking five rounds consecutively now, and they're looking to do further damage as well. Arena, however, going to be back on to a buy round now to have full M4's utility as well to boot. Things looking good for them. T's though looking rather confident themselves. Gonna see what they can do. Heavy pressure towards the B site. Good grenade catching a slither of damage. And a kill is found on the other side of the map. A good start. The T's now try and pressure onto Tetris. Tetris is ready for them though, Tony. Yeah, Tetris play ready, but Elements will come barreling through. Great shot. And a sight take now on Smokes to be deployed, not even needing. All too much util for that hit, Matt. Just taking straight up gunfights for Elemental right now. Three players for Arena to retake. You can see Isaiah very much ready to hold this flank line. And Terry might be looking to come this way in just a second here. Keo thinking about the walk-in, but, well, Arena, they might have to think about a save. The boost up. Yeah, it might just have to be a save. That bomb's too far gone for side of arena to deal with an elemental coming to this one with a very strong lead still zero rounds on the board for arena yeah they've really faced their fair share of struggles in this one tony i, I don't know what's going on in their camp right now like they're, they're trying they're managing to get some kills but it's just not enough to take down the overwhelming power of elemental right now they're doing so much work in order to brute force their way onto these sites and 
you know, it's what it's like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they just continue to do the very best that they can. Speaking of, the T's now. Setting up a bit of util. Looking to just go into their default positions already. See if they can catch any CTs off guard. CTs doing a good job of cutting them off towards the A site though. Already taking a bit of damage, however. This could come back to bite them. It could come back to bite them here. Arena. Still a healthy amount of util too. Could look to put the mollies over towards that ramp position, but a great. As soon as that smoke comes down and two players taking it down by the side of elemental and look over towards the a site yet again great he does some damage on to word elemental me backing off for the moment player stuck through mid keo getting aggressive towards this bridge side because elemental that backed it off the walked away completely both over towards the back of this b site this is where Elemental are looking to kill. 50 seconds. Setting up the Util, lining up the smokes, making sure everything's in play perfectly. Molly comes over and Elemental looking to storm the site, but they haven't checked this back position. Great double from the Arena player. Smoke goes down and gives great cover to Oath here. And you can see that everybody from Arena has rotated over. Element and coming up through this mid stack, though, taken out. And it's now just left to Isaiah, who. Well, he's got the bomb, Matt, but I don't think he's going to get his way into the site. Yeah, 20 seconds to go. Unless they can take down all three players, it could be impossible. He does find one, though, at least. 12 seconds to go. Pressure's on. They need to get the bomb down or get the kills right here, right now. CT's doing a good job just holding. He's going to go for the flag fake. And he will go down in the end. So, Arena find their first at long last. And managed to take their place into this game. Taking their place into this game. And, well, finally, welcome to the server, Arena. It's been a while. First six rounds going to Elemental. But Arena, that's the way they want to arrive. Economy's still great for Elemental. But they can force into this one once again. Up in play for both sides. And I'm curious to see whether they mix it up. Get aggressive. You can see... Going for some fast or peaks, but it is going to be a quick one for one trade over towards the A ramp. And well, an orb can be salvaged here for Arena if they want it. Elemental We're on the back burner for the moment. And I have to think differently about how they approach the site take over towards A because a little bit more defensive, aggressive presence being shown by Arena that time. Yeah, it really goes to show that they know how to buy it back here, and they are going to be able to do a little bit more than just that, heading deeper into the round as well. Elemental certainly going to be pushing pause for now, pushing the time down as far as it can at this stage. Not really going for anything too conclusive yet. However, they do have potential, but speaking of, some of that potential has now been quelled there by Terry. So they do catch the straight player trying to creep up the A ramp. They could be finding another one as well soon as word starts to tiptoe their way forward. Has a teammate behind. Reaps on the other side of the map. Gets a good kill. But word's ready for this, Tony. Goes for the swing. Opens it up. There could be something in the making here. But uh, Reaps, uh, don't know what happened Ooh. there. Wrong bind, maybe? Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, uh, I guess... Uh, not a common occurrence that we see uh, some deaths happen due to uh, falling off the map, but because maybe a bit of nade damage too to come through. Great orb shot. Now down to the 2v1 here, and it's up to how Word wants to play it towards Sandbags, just tucking and of course showing no presence here to Arena. All they have to do is smoke on the bomb and tap it. Go for the swing. Word finds the shot, but immediately traded back by Oath and Arena. Able to pick up a second. Well played by Arena there. They do strike back and strike back with ferocity here. Definitely eager to see if they can manage to cultivate their economy to greater heights now. Two rounds, and they still have a few more to go in this first half as well. Looks like we are going to be diving headfirst into it though. Elemental. Still good for the moment. They've got plentiful amounts of cash behind them. And they've already lost a player. Good kill coming out from Keo there with the AWP. A nice start for our CTs. 
See if our CTs can find another one, though. Grouping around the A ramp, perhaps, or even through middle, because Rory has managed to gain a lot of ground. Does hear the steps there of Geo. Ooh, the angle! And they strangle past one. Oh, a second to follow. Good trade from Reeps. That's B now. Going towards the T's, Tony. Yeah, B towards the T's. Elemental. Now have themselves set up in a prime position once again. Word. Gonna be lurking around tunnels, waiting prime moment to help his teammates out into this side. There is one player towards mid. Great shot to come through. Taking out two here from Arena. Bomb will finally go down. One player left. It it Perry. Over towards the tunnel. To come through. But you're gonna look both ways before crossing the street. Didn't clear that left corner. A great shot to come through Reaps to pick it up. An elemental. What a start to Vertigo, Matt. Yeah, great start indeed. Coming out from them here. On to Vertigo. Definitely keen to see how the rest of the series is going to unfold as well. I think it's the remainder of our maps. A very uh, crashy start there. Tetris, though, going to be holding through towards mid. Does get the spot. Reaps able to open it up, however. More shots coming through as well from Neo, but they will all come crashing down. Keo at least finding one, however, does pick up an AK. Heavy pressure for Oath there, finds a shot through the wood. Could be flanked out there. Sandbags open, stairs as well, and Oath will perish. So good defense coming out from the CTs thus far, finding two kills. Keo now with an AK. Has a lot more potential to find even further kills of this one. So they do creep their way up now. Try to see if anyone's going to be holding closely there towards the outside of the site. Maybe even get an angle perhaps. Maybe they jump across. Go for some parkour plays. Looks like they are just going to be tiptoeing their way around this smoke. No spot comes through from Reaps. And they aren't going to be able to execute just yet. Keo tries for it though. Does at least get taken down in the end. And it will work out for Elemental. But Keo definitely had some potential there. They could have landed a kill. It's unfortunate they got spotted by the orb though. Leg shot straight into the kill from the AK. And now we go round 11, Tony. That's strong faith in Keo, of course. One of the, uh, the, the heavier names that I've heard of from it. This arena roster, him and Terry, of course. Banana once uh, a time ago on this roster as well. Very, very strong individual players and shows some promise, especially moving up through these uh, these leagues, of course. And we've seen them in other leagues as well do some respectable things. But of course, Elemental playing nothing but a class act right now. Great little peek to come through through that smoke. And oh, Isaiah Force back a little bit because, of course, you don't want to let go of that orb. Over towards B, though, up through the split comes Reaps, and, well, Elemental might be reaping the rewards of a B site take here, though, Keo on that AWP, looking to come through mid, help out. Doctor, but Rory, great little spray down, looking for a third, got a little bit greedy sometimes, you see that overheat, Matt, and of course we'll be taken out, but it's 3v1, 3v1 once again here. For this arena player taken out by the shot from Isaiah and it is going to be elemental nine to two in this first map, first half. Just such a dominant T side coming through from them, Tony. I'm very eager to see if they can carry a similar energy through towards our CT side as well because they've definitely shown their true colors thus far. But there's still a few more rounds remaining in this half. Elemental might be good for 10 unless this pistol pulls through with something special, but mm, it's still going to be quite the pickle that they've placed themselves in here. We'll see how it all goes down now, though, as the T's settle into their defaults, just carrying themselves to gather intel early on. Not going to be finding any of it just yet, but the CT's doing a good job at holding their ground as well, not rushing headfirst into a battle, just trying to take things slow, keep their angles tight as possible, so then maybe they have a bit more potential to get a kill, just like what Keo is going for now. As A finds one, Rory good for another, and the T's start to smother their way in towards A. Yeah, once again, they've found their foothold, and they'll continue to kick down the door. You can see that a high angle being taken by Terry could mean a good headshot line, but of course, Elemental 
they're all about the map right now and it's hard for either of these arena players to deal with the valiant swing there from terry but now it's left to oath what can they do five elemental players bomb soon to go down as it comes all the way over to a there's two players on b2 so he has to be very careful how he takes his next gun fighting well gonna be taken out immediately 10 rounds juice to pick that one up elemental a foot on the gas right now in this first map Matt. yeah foot on the gas tony and they are gassed up and ready to plunder let's see if arena can manage to take something of their own now as well they've got a full buy on them keo back on that orb ready and holding the angle but it is going to be oath Having the pressure on them as the T's approach from the stairs now. Flashes come out left, right, and center. Oath not able to react in time. And both players do crumble. Leaving it down to Tetris. Does trade one back at least. Picking up an AK and a nade off the fallen corpses. Not going to do too much damage with them though now. Could see Reeves doing a bit of potential here, however. Yeah, Reeves. Oh, he's going for this cheeky little flank. And nobody's going to expect that he hasn't made a muscle... He hasn't made a single sound here. We can see these players on top of the smoke on the other side. Reeves just continues to push through. The spray down's there. Only good for one, though. And he's going to be the bomb. Sapped. Nothing. That last play can do. Isaiah trapped towards ramp. Reeves almost had the nastiest play there of the map so far. But it's a third round to Arena, Matt. Sometimes you, you trigger discipline too hard, and that's what happens. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Like, they tried to line up the right line of sight, but the CTs just weren't in the right positions for them. Playing around that pillar as well. Going to be a bit dangerous, but alas, does work out. Great for the arena side. Two rounds to go in the half, and arena looking to try and take both. Definitely want to get as close to 10 to 5 as possible. We'll see how that does go, though, considering already both teams. Early trades coming out. Tetris going to be forced off sandbags. Good util from Word, Terry. Peeking with 20 HP and dies immediately. Word going to be taking full advantage of that one now. We're going to see what else they can find here as well. And now it comes to a halt. Keo though, takes down Word. So their gameplay will be halted for the rest of this round. Leaving it into a 3v3 now. Tetris holding, scaffolding. Isaiah doing the same. No one looking to approach too hastily towards either side just yet. Yeah, and Isaiah's got a great orb line for the moment. Whoa. He comes through and Nasty. a great headshot. Absolutely beautiful. And pick him up and knock him down. Arena find four. Matt, these are the rounds they need to find. These last few of the half break Elemental's momentum going into the second and really start to fire back from it there. But Elemental shaken but not stirred. They've got complete control still of their economy. Gonna be buying into this final one. Four to ten, ten to four. It's still heavily in favor of Elemental, and once again looking to contend towards this ramp push. And you can see the word is gonna go through that smoke and mollied off by actually a teammate. And the word apparently stuck in this corner. Oh, if Neo pushes too far, word might actually find something out of this one. Oh, we'll see who spots the other first. This is going to be tight. Oh, there we go. No. Neo gets the kill. Playing around the metal there. It saves their life. That is so unfortunate for Word. But the CTs, they're going to be laughing with that one. Great start for them. 5v4 situation now. The T's need to overcome this challenge ahead of them. Otherwise, Arena could take five here. Yeah, the possibility for Arena to take five is always something... That's on the cards here, but of course, for the side of Elemental, another shot come out from Orb Keo. Just starting to fire up towards the later stage of this half, and as well, Molly being thought about by Rory for a second. Three plays left for Elemental, just making two Terry to pick apart another player, but quick little trade back. The Orb has been picked up, and now it's left to Isaiah. Quick little flick to find the shot, but well. Still three more players, 28 seconds, and Isaiah is going to have to do some work, but Oath is going to come from the flank to finish it. Five to ten. Our half will close. Arena 
able to find themselves some signs of life. Definitely going to be happy with that one as well, Tony. Now switching the sides here, we do see Elemental onto CT. Could start to the half, but slowing down a little bit towards the end there. Could be dangerous. We'll see how things go. Heading in to the rest of this one. This arena take point on the T side now. Looking to advance towards the A ramp. And can be heard. Juice and Isaiah trying to peek forward now. The T's not going to have a care in the world about them. They're just going to keep going. They don't stop coming. They don't stop coming. They're going to hit the ground and run in there. Keo going to be hitting the ground dead though. Isaiah hiding in the smoke. Not going to be spotted. CT's taking a little bit of damage. Now a bomber fake comes through. And the plant will come out. Neo coming out on top as well with a kill. And Neo coming out on top in Arena. Oh, they got the bomb plant. And Elemental, how do they read Sacred here? You can see. Bounty of the being made. Some shots coming out. Some taps coming through from Rory. The rest of Elemental come piling in juice as well. Taking a high position. They are going to tap on to the bomb. They're going to stick it in the smoke. Matt Arena. I don't know what hit them. The round goes to Elemental. And it's 11 to 5. You can't be letting those ones go through. They would have heard the sound cue for sure. Yeah, they did. And they tried to spray through it, Tony. But Reeves did such a fantastic job there. They body blocked their teammate going down first. And it allowed them enough time in order to get the defusal. It was a huge Big Bane play coming through there. And props to them for buying the defuse kit as well. Looks like Arena now trying to force it up though. Do have a few primaries and one Mac 10. Getting close as ever to the B site. Reaps gonna use the MP9 here, ready to take him on. Flash comes through, they find one. Almost good for two, but will be taken down there. The train coming out. Tetris now advancing, taking man advantage. Goes down to Rory. Forced to reload now. Does have a teammate around the corner. Bomb goes down as well. CT's trying to scurry forward, see if they can catch anything. Great flash from the T's. Does push Rory off temporarily. Gonna have to wait before they retake into this one again. Yeah, exercising a lot of patience is Rory right now, but a quick little trade comes through. The first pick is being picked apart by Arena. They swing on to Rory, and they take everybody out. From Elemental round back to Arena, and... Well, that gets a little bit scary, Matt, because Elemental forcing a lot into that round. So now, going to be relegated to just pistols, actually? No, it's going to be a force back from them. MP9 and a few deagles to play with a 5-7. Some flashes to boot to Elemental. They want to play for keeps in this second half, too, like they were in the first. Definitely want to be playing for keeps here, Tony. Looks like one of them will be kept down early on there. Start from Arena. Catching these players off guard. Need to try and discard a few more though before they completely push towards the site. Juice could spot Keo here. The angle's good. Keo's crouched down for now. Could be spotted though. No, Juice finds the timing. Does get it in the end there. Will be traded back by Terry. So nice play coming out from both teams at the moment. Looks like there's a little bit of spice happening towards B as well. So the T's not getting free reign at all. But now, they're trying to bring some pain down on A. Gonna bring the pain down on A, but they have to deal with words still behind this red box. Just waiting for a swing to come through to pop a head off. And, well, we'll be taken out immediately. Elemental though, very little swing back and it's now just left to one more arena though they've got it unlocked the mollies the smokes in the crossfire arena to find themselves number seven elemental a cheeky little force as a bay off that now they're forced back down the hill a little bit back down the hill and we'll see if their side of arena will be able to bring back the energy here as well and try and even it up 11 to 11 make a wish tony we'll see so the cts advance as a, a death ball mostly tetris deals with a couple but will be uh, traded back so two for one for the ak I'd say that's worth it for our cts maybe they can bring that in the next round perhaps rory though pushing up on scaffolding oh it doesn't know how to see behind them 
Poor Rory goes down to Terry there. And it will be up to Isaiah now. One versus three. Ooh. Traded immediately. Good at positioning from Keo. And does take eight. You now see eight to eleven goes the score line elemental. They're back to a buy. But I have to say, this is a far cry from what we saw at the start of this game. It was ten to two, nine to two. Favor of Elemental, and it slipped quite drastically here. Arena. Well, we're gonna be seeing a pause come out. Don't know from which side it will be, but a pause nevertheless. Means a moment to breathe, Matt. We've got Arena in a stable situation for well what feels like the first time this game after such a strugglesome first half they're able to find a few at the end there and now they're trying starting to find a few here maybe just needed some time to warm up but in we go it's round number 20 here arena looking for 10 looking for the chance to tie this one up looking to see if they can do it here and now tony it's arena Take point towards the A ram. Do have a lurker in Oath as well towards B. So they're getting closer towards this A site now. Might actually find a pick or two if they pick and choose their battles correctly. Juice is ready for a swing as well. Could get a spot out of this one. Smoke comes out there. T's have already pushed up though. Isaiah good for one to start. Almost caught. Stabbed in the back. Will be able to creep away. No, they won't. Tetris lands the perfect block onto them. Now pushing us into a four versus three in favor of our CTs. As Juice has crept up from scaffolding. T's now advancing onto them. Juice is good for another. Tetris creeping up onto the side. Finds them on the reload there. Almost good for two. Worth though. Takes them down and leaves it all up to Oath in a one versus three situation here. Oath pushing up towards the ramp. Bombs on the ground. Let's see if they can make it happen. That's a hard situation, especially with that Molly coming through. Oath just trying to get up through this side hall now. Three elemental players. Going to have this side on lock. Oath. Going to wrap around. Just trying to find a gunfight. Just trying to find a favorable position to pick apart the first player here. Weaken the defense piece by piece is what Oath's after. Player over towards side hall. And a great little shot to come through. Picked up. Elemental, find 12. 12, they go down. And they will find a comeback there for Elemental. Definitely making sure to stay focused as ever. Arena, mostly unfazed. They do have a pretty strong together economy. A few AKs, the Deagles, they force up what they can here. Realizing if they don't get it locked in now, the game could run away from them. Good start coming out, however. Isaiah takes point again. A nice kill onto Terry. We'll use the mollies to their advantage. Pushing through the fire and flames. Word looking to do the same. Creeping towards the ramp now. Tetris, Neo, and Keo ready around the corner. Util lands on the player. Surely they heard the cue. Isaiah pulls through. Tetris is gone. Keo and Neo there. Right around the corner. Keo's Ooh. down. Neo still alive, though. Oath's gone as well. So Neo... The unchecked element. Oh, no! Neo, the potential. It gets diminished as Juice swings through and takes down 13 for Elemental. Some impressive marksmanship there by Elemental, and I have to say, bit of an unsung hero word has been this game so far, Matt. Very, very much firing off here. Elemental in their pick. Very, very strong start. 13 to 8, and of course, they put Arena on an eco map. That was the difference maker there for Arena. Now stuck, relegated to pistols. And well, uh, for Elemental, you can see riding high with the momentum. It's going to be a few mollies, a few early sets of util, and they're playing as safe as possible right now for this one. But of course, a few pistol kills coming through. Terry looking to come on towards that site. They just need to get this bomb down and then situate themselves in a great post play. A shot from Terry comes through and now they have the site for the taking. They've got some guns picked up and Arena is now 2v2. Elemental to come from the ramp and now it's just left to Juice in the 1v1. 1v1 here. Juice. 
He's hurt on the drop. Oath going to be around the corner. Just tucked away for now. Playing off the retake here. Waiting to see if the CT will go for it. Smoke comes out. They're ready now. Repositioning. Playing a bit more openly. Time's ticking though. They've got a kid at least. Juice. Not baiting it out at all. Does go for it now. Sticking it. Ooh. Oath. Trying to spray him down. They can't find him. Oath. Thinks it's a fake. No. It's happened again, Tony. They've stuck it out. An elemental. They take round 14. Uh, pros don't fake, and they definitely use the smokes well. Matt, 14 and Arena Blunder once again. It's unfortunate. You hate to see it, but it's just the nature of the way it goes. Sometimes you can find that spray down through the smoke, and sometimes you've got the wrong angle, and you've got the wrong intuition about it. 14 rounds for Elemental looking to close this one out, but not if Arena have got anything to say about it. Quick pick. Onto Isaiah to start it off. Good pick from them there. We'll see how things go down here. Word pushing up Terry in the smoke there. Does get spotted and will be found by the two CT players around the corner. T's trying to go for a plant. Do hesitate now. Keo, good to find Rory. Still know there's two CTs around the corner. They're trying to flash them out before going for the plant. Might be able to sneak it in there, but they know if they try for it. It could be stopped, but no. One will go down, and so too will both CTs. Reaps now. Last man standing. It does crumble there. So, round number nine are going to be found by Arena. And we'll see if they can bring back some of their energy, just like 4Lex playing on the land right now, taking a map off Greyhound. Yeah, you can see. Elemental. Relegated to pistols now in Arena. They've got full room to work with. And once again, the opportun opportunity to strike. Find that 10 and get themselves a big of a breather back into this one. Because Elemental definitely been firing on all cylinders. And that's a credit to Word. And as well, Juice not being too bad in this sub position for the moment. But you can see Arena playing with the clock this time around. Feeling out their angles of that ramp towards B. They will be wall banging up. One reaps is taken out quickly and in come the mollies. Here come the site takes here. Rory now needs to put that USP to work but he's taken out an arena. They've got the site now for the taking. Smoke up onto the platform. There's nothing Elemental can do about it. Completely barred from the site now. Will just be forced to play for exit kills, perhaps. Might be able to distance themselves accordingly. Get some traction here. Juice on a good angle. If any of the T's push around, maybe they get caught. Isaiah already has found one. Juice around the corner could find another. Ooh, taking a bit of damage, though. So fake flash there. It works out for Oath, though. I respect it. You know, you drop the pistol. Maybe, uh, you know, they hesitate. But they will get the round regardless. So good to start there again from Arena as they take a double digits right now. And they got the pistols ready and waiting out of that last round, ready to pull the trigger on all the weapons there. We'll see how it all goes down. It's a round number 25 now as the Elemental. They've got a few upgraded weapons. You know, they've got a few rem 4s there. The MP7 coming out. We'll see if it is enough. Yeah, hopefully it looks to be enough here. You can see Juice. Looking to sneak down at this ramp and maybe in the face of a few arena players that aren't expecting it. Molly's come through, but Juice is holding in prime position. There is a smoke there, but he can almost see through it. Juice is so, so close to greatness right now. Inches away, but that smoke <laughs> dissipates. He's going to be shot straight in the face by Neo. And the arena now looks to come barreling into the sights of two elemental players here. One towards the side. Oh. He's going to be backing off for the moment. He's going to be Word behind the box. And, well, if none other can do it, then Word. We've seen him shot big so far in this game. The shot comes out from Isaiah. A great little cross trade there by War Word. Sorry, as they now walk into the site. But now go the ramp arena. Don't want to take these fights anymore. They want to go over to B where Oath has found a free site. And it gets even freer. The only nearby defender goes down. Reaps conceding the site control towards the T's now. Going to be all up to Rory and Word to see if they can manage to regroup and take the site back here. 
Arena going, doing a great job at playing for map control at this stage and are looking to see if they can do a bit more just like this. Looks like Elemental, however, going to be conceding the round at this point. They realize they don't have much utility to work off. They've got the uh, AWP, the AK, and not much money either. They're probably just going to save it out and tr have a reattempt in the next one or maybe the one after. Yeah, going to have to recoup their forces right now for the side of Arena. Finally get themselves that 10 now to the 11 mark, Matt. This is starting to look a little bit more doable for Arena after what felt like a blowout first half. And Elemental, they've let the foot slip a little bit for the moment. And you can see that saved off will be tossed over to Isaiah, I imagine. Rory, I'm going to give that one up. What a team player. Rory giving away the AWP. Now Arena have a few rounds before they can tie it up here in a very good on the score line and it's a team kill that's just happened a little bit too keen tony i was just like you know what Let, let's help out the other team a little bit there you know let's uh, help them nah uh unfortunate accident maybe they got caught in the crossfires perhaps speaking of oath gets caught in the crossfire good trade for their teammate will be a 3v3 now Elemental doing a good job at keeping up with the uh, lack of weapons they did have. They've still got the AWP and the AK, though. But, yeah, not much util, really. But, you know, there's still a chance for them in this round. Especially if Isaiah can pop off here. Looks like they ha are having maybe a bit of client-side trouble, perhaps. Not sure what's going on there, but they should be good. They know one's close. Fire comes through as well. Isaiah's ready, and they will be indeed taking down one. The orb's gone now, but there's two AKs on the CTs. 2v2 here. Trying to spray through. Bomb goes, though. Word. Does spot one. And Texas goes. Ooh. Another one goes through, but it's Keo pulling through for both. Taking away round number 12 for Arena. Huge, huge clutch there from Keo to hold it down. Keep Arena going. That would have been match point for Elemental and... You feel the momentum really start to shift in their favor. And Matt, I believe a little bit of an interesting thing to note. I don't think he is on uh, his home setup. I believe he's over at uh, a friend's place this evening. So here fragging out on, uh, you know, someone else's pink setup. The pink setup. Yeah, I saw something on Twitter Seems. about that. Some <laughs> shots coming through there from Juice. Man advantage for Elemental. Well, you know what? keo has got the pink buff tonight. Mm. It will be man advantage now quelled though by Arena. Good kill onto Isaiah there. Keo, good shot. The pink buff coming through. Taking down word there. All going to be up to Juice now in a 1v2 situation here. Just looking to see if they can venture forward to try for a retake. They've got an incendiary grenade, a couple of flashes. Could trade out for an AWP if they wanted to. But may just opt to go for it. T's have got the molly and two flashes as well as the AWP there and the AK. Do get the plant down eventually as well. So Juice now pushing up towards the site, taking the far angle, seeing if anyone's holding the pillar. And they will be taken by Keo, unfortunately not finding the right angle. And it will be now one round between these two teams. 13-14, Arena really stepping up here in this second half. Yeah, really starting to show some good form here. I have to say, bringing it all the way to 13 to 14. Arena, not on their pick. And, well, for Elemental, you, you start to get a little bit worried, of course. Coming into this one with uh, only one stand-in. Both teams with one stand-in. Of course, coming into your map pick, you feel the utmost of confidence coming through. But it's already an early pick here for Arena. Taking out Rory, taking out these players by piece. The CC close range can't even do anything, Matt. It's just left to juice. Peak from Platt with his D. Just try and find a G. Little headshot does get the tag on to Tetris. It's taken out. 14 14. We're all tied up. All tied up, 14-14. Pause comes through as well. Probably some tech issues. I think I did see Isaiah having a bit of FPS problems there, I think. I saw their client a little bit uh, stuttery, so hopefully 
and we'll be able to resolve that soon. Obviously, we can't see chat because it's all uh, censored on this side of things. You know, but uh, oh, look at that nice, cute little uh, piggy spray there. Good to see mm. a, bit, a bit of fun being had in the uh, pause timer there. Well, love that, love that. Oh, the unpause has come through though. Mm. Straight back to business. No more goofing around here. No one's being What's in goobers. We are going to be been, straight into it. Been absolute goobers. 14 14. Elemental on to a buy Isaiah with the AWP. And Matt, it's still, I have to say, a strong performance from Word. 25 kills now to his name. For Arena. Both starting to get there. Around that 23 margin. You'd have to. You've drawn it all the way to 14 14. Somebody has have to have been firing away. You can see early damage on the Word to start it off, but holding that smoke perfectly. Able to pick off Terry, w walking through that one in Arena. They give up an early kill. Nice start for Elemental there. Arena taking it nice and slow. Elemental pretty pushed up on the B side of things. Do smoke off the stairs, however, leaving Reaps just to hold above the wood now. Still pondering on their options. Looks like they try and push through. Great double spray down from Reaps there. Does take down two players. Rory ready for one more as well. This is all coming undone for Arena now. Tetris, last player standing against five CTs. This has got to be like running through hell right now. Trying to fight off a many of Lucifer's demons. We'll see if they are going to do it, but no. They will be condemned to lose that round there. And Elemental take map point. And what feels like eternity since we expected to see them take it, Matt. It was 14 for so long for Elemental. Finally to that 15 mark. Arena, though, they've still got money. This is even the standings. Potential overtime on the cards for our first map here in this series. Elemental, no, they get an aggressive Keo. A great little flick. Does he know there's a second, though? No, he doesn't. Reaps. Quick little trade back in. Blow for blow, Matt's evened up the 4-4. Four four. Word in this smoke needs to be a little bit cautious. It is getting spammed down. Reaps has called for the assistance of a player. Juice is holding over towards mid. They've just left one at A. And this might be the right call. Word doesn't really have to go anywhere. Just can play with the smokes. Play with the positioning. Arena are well, looking to split up through towards B. Yeah, really pondering on it at the moment. They've got players outside stairs and middle right now. Two CT is going to be holding as well. One towards each angle. Rory on the sandbags and Reaps towards stairs. Reaps is ready with a nade as well. The timing could be critical here. Not going to really affect anyone this time. They're still going to be far distanced. A flash does come in reaction as well. No one being caught just yet, but there is still some potential towards A. It looks like the T's now completely change up their strategy. Juice gonna fall off towards B. This could be the wrong call here. Leaving it all up to Word and Sandbags. The T's probably gonna molly that off. They've got the mollies coming through on the site. Word hears this. Ooh. If this could be a big swing. Oh, Word! Spots one! Swung straight back. Got the smoke down as well. They're trying to nade him out of position now. Word's still there though. Still ticking along. No! The timing! Word's shut down though. And it will be a 3v3 opening up the site and burning Neo alive. On to the bomb plant. They go down with it. And so Ooh. do does Terry, Rory and Co. Having to roar their power forward. Tetris finds one in the end. Leaving it all on to them. 2v1. It's all on Tetris. They get it done. OT, baby. Here we go. A huge, huge play there from Tetris. This game could have been done like that if both players swung together, peaked one by one. Elemental, they dropped that one. They could have closed it there. But it's 15-15, Matt. First to find four rounds here. Matt, money, everything you could want in terms of you to sell weaponry. Dak Daks even, Negevs. Who knows what's being brought to the table? I imagine not on this map. If it was a different one, maybe so. But Arena, they found themselves in OC. Elemental, they would have thought the game should have been done in just a few more rounds previous. But we're all tied up. Going into the start of this one. Elemental get to start the CT. But maybe the CT 
will be a burden. Arena, these are the rounds that I've found on this key side. And here we go. But round number one of overtime and well, for the side of Elemental, a little bit more aggressive stacking over towards the B site this time around. Just Terry on the lurk over at A ramp. Well, the rest of Arena posing a threat at B. Yeah, looking to pose a threat and word. Could be the uh, sole defender to try and stop them in middle now. Neo, Tetris, and Keo in close proximity at the moment. Trying to set up the site here. Not going to be spotted just yet. Still waiting. Pondering their options. Good smoke comes through. Doesn't cut off word though. Word's still going to be chilling. Just having a good time. Waiting for their tease to make themselves known. But no one giving that opening just yet. Yeah, nobody wants to be the one to give up that first pick. And for the moment, you can see. It was very calm, very collected. We're just jiggling at this mid position for the moment. Nothing's really going on. Until now, Tony. Both does catch the opening there. Their teammates now rushing the site. Reef's prepared, but not prepared enough. Will go down, leading up to Word. They all fumble the bag and go down together. And it will be a five versus two situation here. Juice and Isaiah, last two standing for Elemental now. Looking to just hold back towards this A site. Maybe could just hold it out. Go for a save in this situation. Try their best into the second round of OT instead, but a very difficult uh, round indeed for Elemental here. Yeah, it's going to be a rough one. You can see Juice, Isaiah. Probably thinking about a save, but also thinking about the exits. Great little swing out from Terry. Trying to back by Juice and... Able to pick up the orb, getting themselves down through the ramp. The bomb goes off. Orb saved by Juice, a great thing for Elemental, but in the end, it's a great round to come out from Arena. Only losing one player in the process, and, well, a strong start, 16 to 15. Able to pick up the first in OT. We're going to charge on Ford, of course, making that round costly for Elemental. You can see a few players already at that triple digit in terms of money that's left for Reaps. He gets antsy, he gets aggressive, he takes that oath. Good start there, coming out from Elemental. Reaps taking a lot of damage in consequence. Terry also being caught by the fire. Word, not looking to step down either. Nine bullets in the clip, they might dip forward again. They've spotted another, got another kill. My word, Tony, the aggression from our CTs this round has been fantastic. This is the change up they need. They've taken it down to the four versus two situation now. Keo and Neo trying their best to advance forward, but the CTs are making it hard. Yeah, the CTs are definitely making it hard. That's what you want to see if you're a fan of Elemental right now. Over the top goes Keo. Very, very low HP. Will be taken out. Will be perfectly. It's going to be Isaiah to pick him off. 16-16. Evened up once again, but it's hard to break the economy because, of course, every player started with 16k. But starting to dwindle, forcing out buys time and time again. Elemental and Arena still buys to come through. And, of course, I have to say, very much great early aggression on the side of Elemental. Early days, too. Some great mollies here. This spot. These arena players from walking through. Some aggression, though, shown towards side hall. Not going to be the play this time around. Juice, you need to keep that gun out. So there's a few players coming in. Just a second double swing over towards side hall. And Elemental have lost control of this A site. And that just on this play. This could be such a big flank as well. The things aren't peeking into them. Oh, the angle. Tetris spots one. Takes them down. Leaving it all up to Reaps now. The one versus four situation. Doesn't know where to look. Does find the flanker. But the ones in front get the kill in the bank. And it will be Arena taking away the first half of OT number one. Yeah, it's going to be Arena coming out on top. And now 
We finally get to see the side swap map after what felt like an eternity of Elemental on that CT <laughs> side. It's Arena now to that CT side and in the lead. And of course, as we said, 19, the magic number they're looking for in Elemental. Well, one round deficit coming into this one. You can see Arena opting for the same kind of aggressive B ramp control that Elemental were opting to play with. Yeah, definitely are trying their best to use it to their advantage and it will work out for the elemental players now good start from word there taken out to leaving it all up to neo on the back of the side here to try and hold it down do have oath there in support as well man advantage still for the t's and now further so looking to take point once again molly's going out left right and center word finds another and all of them as a matter of fact don't even need a bomb plant, mate. Just play DM. Just get all the kills. And it's all going to be sorted for the side of Elemental here. Tony, are you pleased with how this one's going? Yeah, this is a, a, a very interesting start to a, uh, a very crucial match for both these teams. What felt like it wasn't going to happen in the first place, Matt. But of course, we had our decisions. We had all the discussion happen and... The teams agreed to rematch and replay this one out this evening and it's it's good to see everybody on the same page and ready to play here 17 to 17 all even up but a great spray down rory what's terry blind through that smoke good crosshair placement honestly great a start we'll see how it all goes down into the rest of it though elemental definitely need as many opening kills as they can in to this first game here We'll see if they can find a few more just like it. They've got presence towards both sides at the moment. Just holding steady. Looks like one of our T's has dropped as well from the server temporarily. Should be back though by before the end of the round. So hopefully can be all resolved by then. The teammates going to play the round out though regardless. Just looking to hold a steady for the moment. Just under a minute to go here as well. T's definitely contemplating on a side take. They've got to be the util to work with as well. So definitely can find some greatness out of it. Looks like they are creeping up the A ramp now. Taking point on the ramp around scaffolding. Looking to see if they can advance forward. CT's holding a bit further back though. Keo, the one in charge of that defense. And may need to get ready and prepare themselves for battle. As the T's pounce closer. Yeah, Elemental... 25 seconds and they need to go now here keo holding a very far back angle all the way into ct molly comes in towards the back of boost and you can see that well elemental is struggling to get this bomb down they haven't quite planted yet and they are going to be wrapped around arena's fingers everybody falls and reaps left to lurk and can't do anything about it 18 rounds to arena one away from closing pause to be called elemental forced to play that one out only 5v4 mats rough to see rough to see and we'll see how things go after this pause as well obviously one of their players probably restarting the game or something should be back in a sec he's hoping we'll see how it all goes down you know just a moment so we do see Good momentum stopper as well from Elemental, actually, with this pause. Ooh, uh, unpause comes through and is uh, paused Ooh. again. Hopefully, we can have uh, their player come back soon, maybe. An important uh, note here. Word is actually on 34 kills. Mm. I'm curious to see if they can push for 40 by the end of this series. Because, yeah, they've been really stepping it up for their team. Reaps as well, doing some great job for Elemental here, but... You see, on the other side of things, it's been pretty consistent through all of their players. Yeah, I have to say, yeah, Reap's 26, Word 34, and, well, I believe the other elemental player that just departed was pretty much up there as well. Juices and, of course, Rory haven't been doing too bad. They've been playing very good assistive roles here to this elemental take, but over on the other side, Matt Arena... Tetris 27, 24 for Oath, and 23 for Terry. Strong numbers as well for Arena. You can see that they're one away from closing this one out. And, well, Elemental 
They want to get this player back in. They want to go to 18-18. They want to take us to another overtime. Because, Matt, this is Elemental's pick and they're about to lose it. Yeah, it's been a real tough one for them, hasn't it? We'll see if they do manage to lose it in the end there, Tony. Whether it could come down to a bit more. Taking a look a bit more in depth in our stats as well in the meantime. Just to see some of our utility damage coming through there. Keo being a real star for that one alongside Neo at the moment. Obviously ADR going to be a favouring word currently on 99. Comparable to some of their teammates, 53, etc. Just pretty even spread all throughout there. Definitely eager to see how those statistics do shape up towards the end of this one as well. Important to note as well there, Reaps on a 59% headshot ratio at the moment. The highest in the server. So definitely doing a pretty good job with some of those kills. Absolutely. But looks like we do have the return of the player. They have come back now. So we should see the unpause unfold very soon. Don't worry, everybody. Not time for bed yet. It's time to play. Time to get things down to business again. Hopefully you managed to grab a water during that pause time, perhaps. Make sure you stay hydrated, stay on top of things. And definitely don't touch that browser, because this series is still ongoing. We are going to be wrapping it up after this first map. Heading in to map two and maybe three. As soon as this first map concludes, but... Looks like we do have some bias coming through there. Unpause should hopefully unfold in a timely manner. We'll see if it is going to favour the Elemental Esports side. Whether they get a bit of traction, a bit of wind in their sails again, or whether it will be Arena here to take it all away here and now. As it looks like the players are maybe trying to get that unpause to come through, perhaps. Not sure exactly what's going on there. We can only... Uh, Yes, you know, create an illusion. Oh, look. There we go, Tony. I heard a lot of chat pings, so maybe <laughs> someone say, Start the game already! Just like uh, Age of Empires 2, you know? But, uh, no, we are starting again. We are going to be getting straight back in action, just like the Looney Tunes, Tony. So let's take it away. Yep. Mm, arena, one away from greatness. And, of course, Elements one away from going deeper into this first map of this series Matt it's been quite a while since we started this one of course schedule to start at 8 it's almost 9 44 map been going for quite a while and I have to say so anyone's for the taking early aggression being shown towards the ramp here by Terry really HE as well though just gonna be backing up I like this hot and cold from arena showing a lot of presence forcing elemental into different positions there is going to be a boost up there from tetris we get a player up onto a high position arena well still don't know where elemental are coming from for the moment they're slowing down the pace juice hiding underneath the ramp over at this a site though neo is here to back up terry tetris looking to rotate over to help too they might have an inkling that it could be a potential a hit but at the moment elemental they haven't shown any presence not showing up yet. Arena, though, could spot them. Rory creeping up the scaffolding now. Not going to be diving in just yet, but they need to get a move on sooner rather than later. 32 seconds to go here. They need to hurry up. They need to get something going in their favor. Otherwise, the round is just going to go the favor of Arena. Looks like Elemental now. Get a move on. Do not find anything. Great start from Terry there. Good hold onto scaffolding with Tetris. Leaving Neo on the site as well. Spraying through the smoke right now. Juice, though, on the other side of things. Does catch one. Good trades coming out from Isaiah as well. Living it all up to Neo now in the site. Defense. Going to be stuck inside the site boxes now. Looking to get a shot through the smoke there. No one going to be biting into that one just yet. Their teammate Oath has wrapped over, though. Might have spotted Isaiah through towards the ramp. Ooh, does get the spot onto the sandbags player. Still going to have the bomb ticking away, though. Word going to be spotted as well. Oath trying their best to take out these Ts. The time's ticking down. They're sticking the defusal. They might actually get it. In fact, they will. And it will be number 18 now. Taken by Arena. Number 18 and another overtime, another 
Elemental, yes, that's correct. 18 18, another overtime and another four rounds for either of these teams to find in a row or just four rounds over both of these halves. Of course, three rounds per side. And with Elemental, they get to start on the T side this time around. Arena to the CC. And I have to say, a scary prospect. I saw, I believe it was Neo in that smoke. One of the arena players could have stopped that bomb from going down if they just had the right timing. Isaiah fires off takeout Keo. That's a strong statement being made. And there could be more statements just like that here, Tony. As they are going to be trying to stay as healthy as possible at this point and try and maintain all five members. No one's going to be coughing up blood in this one. They're going to be doing the best that they can here. It looks like the CT is just going to be holding their positions for the moment. Not looking to give anything away just yet, but not allowing the T's too much freedom either. Terry pushing up to the ramp. Could have a good position here. Not spotting anyone quite yet. Will be falling off for their teammate. Tease. Still just toying with this one. Not looking to dedicate to it. Just teasing the idea of a take. A word could be the one to take point here towards the A site. Yeah, word's in a great position. And Matt, as we alluded to, 34 now, 35 kills in this first map here. You can see Terry. He's going to be playing close with that M4, though. The flash comes out. Tetris has already picked up Reeks and great assist and high angle being held. Elemental said high and dry in this one. Juice. He's going to have to walk out. He might have to save. Already doesn't have any way to get to A. Except with maybe a pivotal flash. I late kills, but he plays the hiding. Pulls one out the open. But it's going to be a flag. 19 rounds quickly picked up. Oh, they're very, very quick to find. 19 for Arena. Elemental, they found them to overtime, but Arena once again to start off the overtime with a bang. Starting it off with a bang there, and we'll see if they can manage to smash their way through these rounds as well, Tony. As we do dive into round number 38 now. Almost going the distance for two maps, Tony. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. As it all unfolds again. A good start coming out towards the A ramp, though. Favoring the elemental players here. Word now going to be a pushing up again. Does have a player around the corner to worry about. Their teammates, though, looking to take their fair share of worries towards the B side instead. Akio definitely dancing closely towards Word here. Word not going to be pushing up, though. Looks like Juice could take point, however. Oh, spot it comes out. They find the kill. Flash goes back. And the T's look to fall. Leaving it all up to Word, who does find an opening. Keo still there around the corner with the AWP. The torpedo shot could come. And it will. A no scope through the side box. Fantastic defense here from Arena. Yeah, this is apt. Absolutely huge right now. Arena could be coming away with 20, but not if Elemental have anything to say about it. Keo extremely low on HP, down to single digits here. Oath, of course, full HP is looking very worrisome. 30 seconds on the clock here for Elemental, looking to walk up through the side towards this site and they are gonna have to swing into ct but keo preemptively goes for the swing himself just trying to stall for the clocks trying to stall for something and now it's down to the 1v1 it's oath versus reaps and reaps is looking towards ct but he also has the force of this mid hall he's gonna check the angle reaps to find it 19 to 19 the tied score line in overtime matt and well, once again, it's the one-to-one -one for Arena and Elemental. Great start from both teams here in to another set of overtime, Tony. And definitely eager to see who's going to come out on top. Or maybe no one comes out on top, Tony. Maybe the map just goes forever. I'm sure that um, it could be a bit of fun if that happened, but it will end. It will end. Don't worry. It will end. There will be a team to take it away here. Both teams definitely making a convincing argument so far, but no one's has made their point completely just yet. 
We'll see how things go, though. Smoke comes out from Terry. Just trying to hold down a ramp. Rest of the teams are setting up base camp through towards middle. Tetris, good swing, does come out. Traded by Reaps there. Nice start. Things now starting to kick off for both sides here. But no one's managed to really take a conclusive stand just yet. Nobody has found the stand yet. You can see the Elemental looking to make a walk up and through the ramp work for them. Molly goes to the hall and and flash bounced off the wall. Word with 37 kills, but coming scarily close to that 40. Oath over towards the back of this B site. B prime position. Shut down. His players coming. Elemental. Deuce is going to be the first point. He's going to scout that player over towards the gen box. And it is going to be Oath. Burn. One HP and forced into well, the graveyard here. Elemental, not able to get bombed down. Terry and Keo, now on for the retake with, well, no util, Matt. It's a very, very struggling site. They're just going to have to take fights as they come. Keo scopes in and posing a threat, but it is going to be word and reaps to find 20 for Elemental. 20 rounds. Very nice way to go through another half of OT here, Tony. As Elemental come out on top in this one. We'll see how they go, though. We'll see if Arena can strike back. Do Fallax proud. As Fallax fights valiantly on land at the moment. And their teammates look to hold down the fort here. Arena now approaching, though. Fast approach from Oath towards B. Rory and Reaps close by. Good start from Word, however. Terry goes onto the A ramp. Isaiah finds another one as well. The rest of the teams trying to creep up through middle as well as the B stairs there. Going to be cut off by a bit of utility. Nothing that they can't manoeuvre around, however. It looks like the CTs are all too prepared for them. Maybe or not so much, however. Tetris at least finds the one trade back. Rory in a good position as well. Trading out for the AK. Has the support of Word now. We're going to see if they can write a document on how they've got a license to kill here. But no one going to be reviewing it just yet. As it all comes down to Tetris here. We're going to see if they can take it away. Try and assert their dominance, Isaiah. Jesus. An angle of demons there. Taking Tetris down to 6 HP. They've got to be a bit shaken after that one, Tony. I'm surprised they're alive. Yeah, Tetris. Still breathing, but at what cost? His HP bar extremely low and juice. Prime position, there's three elemental players looking to wrap around, but it is going to be word to find the 40 mat and elemental. One away from closing this one out, this nightmare that has been vertigo for them. Of course, it was 9-2, to two, believe it or not. Elemental had strong hold of this game, but it slipped, it's faulted. 40 kills for word, elemental one away, closing it out, and for arena... That's not the way they want to go down right now. Absolutely not, Tony. Not the way they want to be going down and not the way they want to be maneuvering around this one. Good start already, though. T's trying to creep up at the A ramp here. See, T's going to be just uh, towards the back of the side at the moment. T's trying to clear out sandbags. No one's playing that angle just yet. They'll find that out soon. Isaiah ready on scaffolding, goes down to Neo, Word looking to pick it up though, does pull the slack, trade it straight back, good kill from Juice, 3v3, still on site, 9 bullets in the clip, takes down Tetris, good trade from Keo on the orb, now leaving it up to Reaps and Rory to try and retake their glory. Keo, great shots, great trades, and Oath will find it quick like that. Ram goes to Arena. Pouncing on for those kills, but Elemental, Matt. The fortunate part is they get to start on the CT side once again. Now number 42. Elemental, what a way from closing it still. Arena, a much needed one to find. And this next one, the utmost importance to keep this game going. And of course for Elemental... 
the utmost importance to close it out and take us to Inferno. They want to close this nightmare that has been their pick. Again, I want to reiterate, both teams playing with stand-ins this evening. It has been an absolute marathon, to say the least. And of course... Run, Forest, run! Run, Forest, run. Word has been a marathon sprinter, though. 40-something kills. Elemental, you've got to be giving them a raise after this one. Yeah, they're definitely putting the hard yards in, Tony. And this is only map one, mate. Like, they've, they've put in so much effort already. And it's only map one. Speaking of, Juice pulls through under the swing. Taken down two. Fantastic start here for Elemental. We'll see if they can pull through for a few more as the T's stack their way up onto the ramp. No Juice could be around the corner here. Juice hasn't revealed himself yet. Could be ready for another swing though. Neo pulling up close. Does get spotted by Isaiah. Another great kill coming through for this ET here and Oath does find a trade back they're not out of this one yet they're still ready for battle ready to clash swords here terry pushing up oath goes down it's all up to terry now they need to really dig deep but no it all goes down elemental take it away 22 to 20 20 to 20 a long hard fought first map here in this series but elemental come out on top and it well matt it's a, a credit to the whole team of course we said word with 41 kills to end that game but it was a team effort across the board i have to say some strong stuff as well from reaps and isaiah coming up clutch elemental under the gun get it done 22 to 20 take home vertigo and we'll be going to inferno next matt Yes, we will. Inferno going to be a map at number two here, Tony. Definitely eager to see it. Eager to see how it all plays out, you know? It's going to be good. It's going to be sweet. But before we dive into it, everybody, we are going to head to a short commercial break in our Biocode Lab LPL Pro CSGO here. So we'll be back in a jiffy. and See you soon.
Hello everybody, welcome back to our Biocode Lab LPL Pro CSGO action. Do want to say a quick shout out to our sponsors here today, Rocket, Samsung, Biocode Lab, and Sky City Skyslide. But without further ado here, Tony, let's get into the game. Gonna get straight into it, Inferno. Now for your second map of this series, Elemental Arena. We saw Elemental take it 22 rounds all the distance in the second overtime was necessary and well for elemental they can start ct side here on inferno up 1-0 arena's pick and oh, this is gonna be an interesting one we saw a massive game from word we want to see that from a few of these other players we got chief back in the server mat for elemental and it's gonna be an interesting one yes it is tony and it's already off to a banging start there for arena as they do crash their way straight through on to the B side here. We're going to do a bit more damage as well. Will be a Neo taking down a word though. Elemental starting off pretty slow. Chief now is going to be in the server for the uh, Elemental side. They did have a substitute there if I'm not mistaken. I think Chief wasn't in map one. So mm. Chief going to be subbed in this time. I think Chief actually making their uh, way up through chall the Challenger League previously as well. I think they played alongside Omi Chella and Munchie for Underground Esports last season, or maybe the one before, if I'm not mistaken. So good to see some of our Challenger players coming up through the leagues there. They're getting promoted up. That's what you want to see. Promoted up in a pro, and you get shot at the big leagues here, Matt, as you already see Isaiah has ripped one with the scout, Terry. Already been taken out the quick with pick here, the side of Elemental. And that's what they want, especially with the fact that they've forced into the second round. Ideally, they want to steal the guns away. They want to drop them to the floor, maybe try and find them at the tail end of things. But of course, Arena, three outside of the B site for the moment. Just one on the lurk over in Apartments. And Elemental, of course, triple stack the A site. And floating right now on Arena for the moment. Still trying to sense out where they want to go. This smoke is keeping them in place for quite a while. And Rory, he's got another one to toss in just a second. He's going to be Chief to pick up Tetris. The Lurk player now backed up by a teammate. And well, Arena, they need to go. They need to go together. And unfortunately, they've just given up too many picks early on. Too many picks early on. That could change soon, though. Rory, unfortunately, not going to be able to pick one up there. Arena, even at back. Reaps, though, good for a kill towards the back of the site. We'll see how it all unfolds now. As it comes to a stalemate, Chief, though. Big flank. Huge flank. Gets one kill in the bank. All down to Neo now. Reaps just needs to land one bullet. All their teammate word, but it looks like Neo... They made the right call. They're just like, uh, yeah, nah. Stuff this. I'm out of here. Yeah, gonna get out of there here and quickly rotate over towards the A site. Try to get that bomb down, but he's gonna be held down perfectly by Word and Elemental. This time, with a bonus against the Force Arena. They drop it. Elemental, they pick it up. One to one, the score line in. Well, Arena, they're now forced to make the decision whether they want to force into this one. There's going to be a few deagles to come out. Flash, Molly, Smoke. Elemental, they're in a good situation, Matt. They grabbed that AK. They've got it, a few MP9s to work with to farm some cash up. Words of the M4. Elemental have just found themselves a great foothold back into this game off that one round alone. Absolutely. We're going to break loose in this one already. Do concede a couple of weapons to the T's, though. This could come back to bite them. Chief in a good position in the window. Oath, though, already pacing their way straight through the A side here. Taking a lot of ground. Ooh, could see a little more coming through there. Nice swing from Chief thinking, whoa, 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 what's going on there? As they get spotted by the player down second middle will be Oath. Last player standing now, holding the library. Looking to read up on how they can take on this 1v3 situation. They've got a deagle in their hand and a scout. They're looking to see if they can scout ahead. No one going to be in their path just yet. Closest player is Chief underneath window now. Watching for the apartments wrap. Bomb still on the ground favoring the CTs as well here. Oath going to be upholding their oath to commit their best to their team. Do spot one towards the T-stairs there. Reaps. 
Looking to see if they can creep up. Timing working in their favor. Fire goes down. Reaps forced forward. Or Oath forced forward, rather. Gets one shot off on Rory. Now Ooh. good for a kill. Chief trying to get some damage underneath them. Not going to be able to land it, though. Oath still alive and still kicking. Might actually find Chief here. The HP bar's going down. Not going to be able to get the shot through the material. And it will be Elemental Esports taking away their second, but Arena definitely making that a tough one. Really making it sting. Yeah, that was a uh, expensive, a costly round for Elemental. A cheeky little shot there from Chief. There, the warming attempted, but Elemental, of course, keeping that M4 and that AK online, ideally. Tossing around, sharing the love. Arena. No force this time, Matt. They've absolutely feeling that, of course, the force not possible this time is going to be a, uh, a very interesting hold, though. It is going to be an apartments rush here. It is going to be a cheeky little tuck in. Isaiah can hear the footsteps. So can word. Elemental, they're going to have to quick rotate here because it is a water waterfall out. The apartment is going to be one player quickly traded back, but quickly traded in return. And the spray down comes through. And quick kills, but the run and gun. The Tetris has the bomb, the sight, and some guns to pick up if he wants. We'll see if Tetris does get the chance to pick anything up, though. Does find the M4. Now eight bullets, and they will go down without a fight. Good kills coming back in response from Elemental there. But again, they're down to two players. Arena doing such a great job at just finding those kills. The waterfall approach working out for them. Bringing some of that energy there. But unfortunately, they don't take the round. At least Arena get the plant, though. They've got the loss bonus building up. They've got that plant money. Full buyer coming into this round. You can expect them to be confident here. Yeah, they're very much firing on all cylinders. This is Elemental with Chief back in the roster. And it just seems to all be clicking for them right now. They're feeling a lot more aggressive and on how they want to take these gunfights. And... Well, an early Molotov over towards the top of Banana. Early HE2. Rory's trying to get some chip damage in. Lands on a Terry and Keo. Marina. Force force back. Maybe a second Molly to be tossed by Rory. Elemental. Just stalling for time. That's what they're after right now. This is an interesting boost angle there from Chief. And word. Well, my word, he's going to lose his head. Great kill being picked up there by Tetris. Arena have found first blood, but strike back does cheap and rotates back towards the safety of the site. Rotating back towards the safety of the site there, and we'll see if they are going to be able to keep that safety as well. As Arena now and Grocher from the site getting closer and closer as the time slithers down here. Isaiah, perfect angle. There. No, the timing! Oath! Takes them down there. Great comeback now from Arena. They've got the man advantage. Oh, maybe not. Keo taking a bit of a uh, bit of hurt there. Leaving all the pressure on Chief. Nice spot. They don't know. Oh, this could be so big. They're not even checking. Chief has a ball. Oh, my God. My three kills in the blink of an eye. Oh, my gosh, Tony. This round's just flipped like a coin. The flip like a coin and the plant will go down. Terry is able to secure the money at least, but Elemental, that's a huge spray down from Chief. And, well, Terry, 40 HP, three members to face, two from the short side. Rory going to come to seed seat. And it is going to be Rory to pick it up. Swift head shot with the accurate A1S. Fourth round it's the Elemental board and Chief. He's back, and he's ready for a vengeance. Elemental back and ready for a vengeance. Putting Vertigo way behind them now. Starting off this one, 4-1. to one. CT side, a very, very favorable side for a team. Much like Elemental on Inferno. Arena, though, Matt, they've still got to buy. Only Keo without the util. Only Keo without the util at the moment, and we'll see how things unfold heading into this one as well, Tony. As Elemental take point onto the map so far on their CT side. Arena trying to locate a response here. Perhaps too overwhelmed from the success of their teammate, Forlex. We'll see how it all goes down for them in this one, though. Terry 
Shots taken. Oath will be the first found. Chief finding another on the Tetris. Good start from Elemental. T is trying to see if they can find some pressure, perhaps towards that B site there. Keo going to be the last one standing towards middle now. Should regroup with their team. Rory might get caught on timing. The T is creeping up on him. Trying to throw some util out of these CTs, but the T's not going to catch them yet. They find it soon, however, but no reaps on the elevator and angle. Finds almost all three. Rory good to cook one alive there. That will be the chicken dinner taken for Elemental. They find round five. Yeah, not only have they found round five, but they've broken Arena's economy, Matt. You can see that nobody can scrounge a buy together this time around, and I'd say Chief, he's come in 11 to 3 already, and we're only seven rounds into this game. Strong start here. Maxed out economy really starting to come in here as well for the side of Elemental. Early HE towards mid. And oh, Rory. It's the boost angle shot onto the player on the logs. Word. Now just taking some gunfights mid. Unfortunately, can't hit the spray transfer. Rory's just swinging and hitting from the edges. Missed shot from Isaiah, forced to fall back because he doesn't want to give up that sniper. A few guns that have already been given over to Arena for this one. Isaiah put under pressure and Oath able to wrap around the arch side. Reaps and his teammate though coming quickly for the trades, but Arena somehow picked that round together. Oath on the Raptor arch pays it dividends. Arena to Elemental 5. Nice comeback there from Arena. They do manage to catch the momentum coming out of this one. And we'll see how it all goes down heading in to our next round number eight here. Will Arena be able to cultivate some more momentum in their favor after taking one or will it all strike back? Elemental time, baby. Heading into this next one. All going to be dictated by how this one unfolds already. Good start from the T's. Isaiah down to 18. Might be able to find a bit more off that as well. Boost coming out from the CT's towards Diggity as well. As a matter of fact, Tetris may be ready for this one if they hear some steps. But word not giving themselves away just yet. It will be Tetris giving away though. Nice spot from Chief there in Graveyard. And now it does find the man advantage here for Elemental Esports. Ooh. Yeah, Elemental Esports made a finish. Isaiah down to four. Very costly engagement. But Rory, he's got to spray through that smoke. Not quite able to line up. Reaps able to fall back to the safety of that second orange. He's looking for the swing on the Terry, but a little bit of an unfavorable angle to be taking. Terry. As Isaiah through the smoke, the bomb will be planted down at B. And Chief, word, the economy's not the greatest. They might call for a save. Yeah, considering they've only got a couple of flashes and a smoke there, the save definitely could be a decent call from them. Their money not in the best position anymore either. Need to see if they can manage to re reunite in this one and try and bring back a better performance heading into the next round instead. Definitely going to be a positive outcome there. And we'll see how it all goes down. Heading into round number nine as well as Arena now. Take three. Look to come back with a fiery vengeance here. Great stuff coming out from them. And we'll see if they can continue to head in a great direction. And we know to our next one as well. Looks like we do see now. Pause to come out as a matter of fact, Tony. So, good start from them there. See how it all goes down after this pause though. Perhaps some technical issues. Not entirely sure, Tony. Well, what's your take on this one? It's, uh, it's, I feel like it's got to be a tactical elemental. They're thinking about the next few, but it also could be a tech, maybe a, a player lagging or so. Always bound to be the case, but for Arena, gives us some time to not overheat, man. We like to use that word a lot because some of these players, when they start to pick these rounds together, they go for some aggressive things that they probably shouldn't be fighting. And, well, sometimes it bites them. Of course, for Elemental, only an AWP saved in that previous round. He's going to be worried with the M4, but nothing else, really. There is a kit, at least for Chief, and a few bits of Utsil here or there scattered about. Arena, good look to walk 
through the apartments and that's exactly where elemental have decided to stack it for the early stage of this round terry we're gonna go through that smoke a very costly call rory hands on that nade isaiah hands on the gun chief able to find terry a costly swing for arena matt and that's the overheat presence i was talking about tetris trying to get out through the balcony we'll be able to find one on a word and well, I meant so they need to rotate quickly because these arena players are coming and they're coming for vengeance chief with that ak in a prime position with the armor and the kit he's looking to peek oh. through find this kill on the the smoke has been heard the nade has been tossed chief has the perfect angle drops the bomb and now can tuck towards second mid they aren't going to be spotted oath gets away now it's two players left for arena they need to get this bomb back but also they need to find these elemental players dead it's so unfortunate for arena tony like they get caught off the noises they make there throwing the utility going for the jump shot there now trying to go for the bullets are given away and now forced into this 4v2 situation here on the retake See if the CT's gonna muster the courage. They've only got a flash and a smoke. They've already crashed past one, leaving it all down to Oath. Tucked in the back of the site there. Spotted by Rory now, overwhelmed in the trenches. And it will be Rory to take number six for Elemental there. Great retake onto the site. And good effort from El uh, Arena as well. As they do get the uh, bomb planted down. And we'll get a bit of extra cash off that one. You can see their economy looking pretty solid with a loss bonus behind them as well. Six to three on the scoreboard, though, everybody. And let's see how it all runs down now. AKs coming out across Arena here. And it looks like Elemental going to be sticking to their guns. Double AWP set up. And the M4s, a couple of AKs as well. A yeah, couple of AKs in the margin here before. Side of Elemental. Oh, think. And you'll miss it. Relapse. Oh, sorry, Reaps. Tears in the part. He's feeling a relapse. Game, Tony. Uh, absolutely wrong game, but yeah, no relapse being felt after that one. Arena, they've lost Neo early on. Lost him early on there, but now Arena look to try and take one back. Say this is personal blood for blood here. Trying to flood their way through towards the B site. Gonna set up some utility for the CT smoke. Terry ready to pounce upon this one. Does have Rory to deal with as well as Reaps there. Reaps huge on the AWP already. Spots one. Going off a little bit too soon. Putting the fire down. Gonna be blinded out there. Teammate ready for the push. But Reaps now has to wait. Smoke gonna prop. Ready for the tank. We'll be able to strike back from CT. Rory good to spray through the smoke. Bomb down two versus five though. This is a tough one here for the T's. Oath. We're going to push the smoke towards Garden, though. Ready and waiting. Fire goes out as well. Oath still going to be holding on top of the coffins here. Smoke now dissipating. CT's skillfully waiting for this one. All peeking together now. Good trade coming out early on. Oath catches a two out of the Endeavor. But it won't be enough. CT's good for the defusal now. Only losing two out of it. Two for two trade. Can't complain about that, and it will be a round win for Elemental Esports as well. 7 to 3. Similar scoreline, almost, uh, well, a little bit more favorable for Arena this time around, but similar scoreline to what we saw start our first map, Matt. It's interesting to see Elemental back to that same start, especially subbing back in cheap for this one. Arena, AKs once again, is going to be. To how they use them once again or put in the hands of Keo be a key point to note maybe they want to take some banana control this time around but Keo isolating the tool finding Isaiah early on getting in the head of all these elemental players and Rory full flash for that one he just kind of swung it blindly and well for elemental they've lost two players in arena they found themselves some room to work with Keo, imperative to their success at the moment, doing a great job with that AWP, just managing to find commanding kills coming through there. CT's not really sure how to maneuver around this one at the moment. We'll just be holding steady for the time being. Reaps even rotating off the B site, just trying to regroup with their teammates. Considering their 10 HP, conceding B might not be the worst thing. Maybe they catch the lurker here in Tetris. Already on the angle, gets the spot there, can relay that intel to their teammates. 
looks like they are going to try and flash in, but Reaps is gone now. T still don't know that there's no one on B yet, but I think with that kill, they're just going to send it. Just gamble. Why not? It will result in a bomb plant sooner to be on its way. And the CTs just going to be latibulating in this one, I think. They're not going to go for a 2 versus 4 retake. They've only got a smoke, a flash, and a uh, HE grenade there. Not too much to really deliver. And so... This will result in round four going to Arena. So they're going to be happy with that one. One step closer to at least five in the half. Cannot complain about that, Tony. We'll see if Elemental can look to take at least eight, though, or whether this one goes a little bit closer again. Yeah, this is uh, an unfortunate round to drop for Elemental, but because hard round to retake against, it's a good call to save. Keep a few of those AKs online arena finding themselves fourth that's on the east side they want to find as many rounds as possible normally this map's been pretty even in terms of siding recently on inferno map but a lot of these teams they really like to get a runaway with their ct size especially on the start especially the way that elemental like to start or back in play for isaiah a costly gun to invest into chief he's got about 7k he's the only one really with money here so Elemental, they kind of want to win this round to keep themselves composed into the half. Or oh, Arena could be looking to tie it up from just this one alone. Ooh, Elemental doing a good job to stop them in their tracks for the moment. No rogue bullets killing Terry. Terry seemingly looking like Neo from the Matrix, but seems they're a bit more mortal there as Isaiah does a strike a bullet through the dome of that player. Will now push us into a 5 versus 3 situation. T's just going to be stacked up towards middle. Looking to wait for their chance on Brackets Control. Rory prepared, though, through Archway. May actually spot Oath here as they creep their way up. Diggity getting some action as well. The T is definitely trying to strike first here. Good trades coming out, however, on both sides of the scale. T's trying to set up this bomb plant quick as Lightning, Word, and uh, Rory here. Going to be backed up by Reaps and Isaiah now. There Reaps and Isaiah. Looking to go back into this site arena. They've got great post play positions though. One top of the site box. Never mind though, it's cleared by Reaps and look quick like clockwork, Matt. Elemental. Make that retake so so clean. Arena, they get the bomb down at least. They get the, themselves a bit of plant money so they can still buy into this one. But elemental, they stave themselves off the force to an eco so they've got guns yet again to work with isaiah keeping that orb in play and now eight to four this score and starting to get a little bit scary for arena yeah definitely getting a bit uh frightening to be certain tony considering now that elemental do have that round win or a half win a victory secured does get a bit more tight here speaking of though elemental oh. Look to trade it back. Ooh. I thought they were on the back foot, but uh, Rory says, G'day, uh, you forgot about me, guys. And uh, get a couple of kills from Boiler there. Terry now forcing them out, getting another one. The bomb is down. This is a huge start. Reaps, though, does find another. Jumping crouch peek into Geo and leaving it down to Tetris now. Trying to approach from the apartments. It's going to be a really difficult situation that uh, Tetris has been placed in. Luckily, they've got a couple of flashes. The Molly try and approach towards the bomb. Isolate that pit angle, perhaps. Flash their way through and try and see if they can go for gold here. Three players they need to worry about, though. One in pit. They know about Isaiah. Going to be holding library. Gets the kill in the end. And we'll find nine now for Elemental. What a fantastic uh, round, though. You know, the start from Arena. They find two. Then Rory's like, no, 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 no. Here's two back. And it all just landslides from there. Yeah, huge round from Rory, and I have to say, Rory been very, very consistent so far this series, especially on that last map. Very much able to find good multi frags back, and even it to the main advantage for Elemental. But Arena, they're stuck to a Galil and some Deagles. Very, very unfortunate situation that they are in right now. He's going to be a boost up from Tetris here to get Terry on a higher angle but of course elemental early smoke 
they back off they are just gonna be jiggling that wall for the moment high flash a little bit late to the party and tetris and Terry just gonna spray him down quick little flick from isaiah falls back to new box but needs to be cautious drops the smoke they know now exactly where he is but isaiah still hits that flick up point blank onto neo and a 2v2 ensues the bomb yet to be planted here but arena they've got all the space to do so Great clearance from them on the basically eco round as well. Leaving it all down to Oath now. Flash coming out there. Word and Chief to get the spot there on New Box. Good shots coming out there. Chief goes down. Oath, better HP here going for a fake on the reload. Seven bullets in the clip there. Word, so, so close. Does have the kit as well. Can't afford to take time. <gasps> Barely getting away from it. But Oath pulls through. Taking five for Arena there. Such a close round. And they do find their place. 15 rounds now. Here we go. It is the end of our first half. Will it be 9-6 to six or will it be 10-5? to five? It's all down to either side to dictate the pace on this one, Tony. And here we go again. Yeah, nine to five and well, last round of the half and it could be 10, it could be nine, six, who knows? Arena, really looking for that six, then getting to start on the CT side in the second half. A very, very interesting position to be in. Elemental, of course, coming out, swinging after that second round after Arena found the pistol very quickly. Elemental, into a Tetris. Scared of a player close, and rightfully so. Chief, gonna be taken out. Oh, gonna be spoken it off, and Isaiah forced to fall once again. He can't play these close angles that he'd want to with that sniper. Word is gonna be smoked off towards the arch side. He's gonna play around. There's a gap perfectly set up for him. But Arena, they've got the bomb over towards Banana. And they could open up Banana soon. Ah, oh, there it is. Keo. Good for a kill there. Trained it back by Reeves, though. Not going to be twofold. Almost finds Keo in the end, but it will be taken out by our arena players. Good flank actually being enabled here by Word. And they do have a teammate, Isaiah, in spawn. They don't know Word's position just yet. This could be huge. In fact, it is. Nice opening from Word there. They've still got a rogue lurker in Tetris, though. If Isaiah doesn't approach soon, they could be stabbed in the back as well. Looks like they're aware of it. They've got a teammate ready to pincer through the smoke. Also, word creeping onto the site. Good kill from Isaiah. Oh, the timing, unfortunate. Isaiah running forward, knowing they need to get onto the site sooner rather than later. But that lurker in the back from Tetris there gets it done. Huge impact from that lurk, and it will allow Arena to take six rounds now. Nine to six in the half, Tony. And a great way to close it out. They come out on top a little bit. A bit closer than what they would have been expecting, perhaps. And Arena, if they take pistol here, might even be able to even it up. You know, maybe they get eight to nine. Maybe we go nine to nine. We'll see how it goes, though. Because Elemental, if they get the uh, ground running, they might be able to further their lead as well. Yeah, it all really stems down to who takes the pistol. And for the moment, you can see that Elemental. They've got two smokes, two mollies. Very interesting setup here, I have to say. Definitely a B-centric type of util that's being brought to the table arena. Of course, for the moment, just going to be stacking three towards that site. One boosted up onto the pot plants. And, well, two going to be playing... Towards the side here, playing front and center. A very aggressive angle to be holding if you're a CT. Here is Elemental setting up for this exact smokes over the top. One to Coffin, I imagine, and one towards CT. The Molly's towards both of the boxes there, forcing Keo into a world of flames. Burned out, taken by Rory, and they are going to check the Coffin. Are they not going to check Dark, though? It is O sitting in the back of the side. He's able to find another on a Chief. Lining up for one almost on to Isaiah. Terry has spotted Isaiah in that orange box corner. The bomb is Ooh. out in the open. Terry just nailing these pistol shots. A dink back from Reeves. This is doable. 2v1 and Terry at range to find three rounds. Sorry, three kills 
in that round. Arena able to find themselves number seven. Seven taking us all the way through to almost 11 o'clock p.m. Tony, and we will see Arena taking away the pistol there. Could it be on to a path of revival here? They are looking pretty solid on their CT side so far. Could look to further solidify their stance on the game as well. As we do see Elemental just completely eco it out here. Not looking to pick up anything. Maybe a kill or two, perhaps. Could be a distinct possibility, but it is go not going to be achieved just yet. Will be cheap now. Holding the angle towards Banana. Knows there's a CT close by based on the smoke there. Just going to be sitting on that information with their teammates, taking point while the rest of them approach from the chicken pit as well as through towards middle. Looks like they are going to run it back though. Try and overwhelm Neo here. He's got a teammate further back. Try and help them. Neo though, spraying them all down. Leaves it down to word. We'll find at least the opening kill, but it will be Arena to clean up everybody. And Elemental will go down in flames. Round three of this second half, though. Round number 18 in total. And we do see the full buy from Elemental now. This is their chance to recover. And we'll see if they can do it or whether Arena smother them through towards even Stevens 9-9. Nine -nine. Yeah, 9-9 nine to nine and potential to go deep into this one. It's going to be Keo. Already forcing out an orb. Very interesting purchase to be brought for the side of Elemental though, of course, Galil's AKs. Flash goes high banana. Scouting for some info, forces Kia off the line. There's four players over at the same side. Arena might have made a very, very smart read. Definitely trying to work this one, create something actionable for their team here. T's certainly playing quite closely towards the A site as well. Don't have to commit to it though, but it looks like they are going to. One CT has now fallen off through their spawn. Smoke comes out to Mill as well now. Looking to see what they can do here. No one going to be giving themselves up just yet. Elemental. Time's ticking down. They need to dedicate to something here. Two, three setup now. Not so many T uh, CTs to deal with. They could overwhelm in number soon as the T's start to approach forward, Tony. Here they come. Yeah, T's starting to get up through that arch side. Rory, the one to lead the charge. Chief taken out with the empty line of Tetris. And always found another on Isaiah. Very costly. Costly round here for the side of Elemental. It is good. Rory trying to jump out over the top of the graveyard. Another found at long range. These MP9s and Famuses are getting it done. Word. Even plant the bomb, finds one in the pit, looking to swing the flick onto Oath, but he's going to be 9-9. Nine to nine. Matt, retake in from Arena. They didn't even leave the site for that retake. They were already there and ready to go as soon as that bomb went down. Elemental, props to get the bomb down, but Arena, are even bigger props to close up the half and score line at 9-9. Nine to nine. Nine out to nine at the moment. A great chance has been afforded to the side of Arena now. As they cut it close here, down to the wire. And there's plenty more that could transpire here on this wonderful map of Inferno. We could be running it all the way down to Dust 2, Tony. Who knows? Definitely potential for it now. We'll see how it all goes, though. As Arena look to approach second mid now. Not playing second fiddle, though. They will take first point. Finding two kills. Looking for two more, perhaps. Keo could for the AWP shots. Isaiah might be stabbed in the back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Tetris is thinking about knifing him right now. Oh, he knows he can do it. Oh, oh He's just God. thinking about it. Bomb goes down. Not going to do it to him. Not being cheeky like that. At least for Elemental. They do manage to get a plant out of it. But Arena, flawless victory. No deaths. Some, uh, some rest shots as well. Keo looking very comfortable on that arch side orb. And, well, as you said, plus side four elemental. They got the bomb down, but Matt, their leader slipped just like that. It was nine to six. It's now nine to ten in favor 
of arena one in the lead but what's elemental they're back to a five bat we need to see some more space being taken from them for the moment word well he's definitely got the the pace up trying to find that player on the sandbags they swing give neo a free two the help of terry Right back by chief at least but still man advantage found early on by arena by elemental just trying to w hold and w send it up banana it seems that they must discover a key other than w tony they must discover the sa or maybe the d key as well looks like the w key does work out for a little bit though they find at least a couple of kills out of this endeavor but now leaving it all on the shoulders of reaps here one versus three situation pushing up terry so sharp does find the uh, kill taking us now nine to eleven in favor of arena at least for the T's though, max loss bonus. They've got the money for uh, AKs again, and they are going to try their best to take round number 10. We'll see if they can manage it though, considering the CTs, they're looking quite prominent so far, Tony. Yeah, this is, uh, it's looking rough, uh, especially not what you're expecting out of Arena. Uh, sorry, what we're expecting out of Elemental, especially starting the way that they did. Well, elements are gonna have to shake it off. Maybe call it tactical timeout. We haven't seen one of those yet. Wait, those exist. Arena. Those apparently exist, Matt. Arena, they haven't thought of them. And the elemental, they definitely haven't thought of them yet either. Rory, able to find Tetris. Isaiah, also able to clear out Oath. There's two players taken out of commission by Arena. And, well, elemental are thinking about this A site take, but they have to deal with Terry, who's still unchecked. In Archway, Keo also taking out uh, Reaps and Chief. Very, very costly angle to peek from, and they're just going to give it to Terry for free yet again. Fights that Elemental should not be taking. They are. And 12 11, 12 9, Arena are in the lead. My word, Tony. Arena definitely persevering in this one. Showing Elemental who's boss at the moment. Elemental are struggling to get any rounds in this half. Losing six in a row there. You're going to see if they can find a comeback on their T side. Because the approach so far has been a quite a strugglesome for them. On to the pistols again now though. Arena. Looking to take a 13 here. May just be able to do it, but it is going to be still tough regardless. Even if the T's only have pistols, those pistols are still deadly weapons in their own right. They will approach for bracket control now. Looking to push up on a Tatris. Unfortunate timing there to turn. Word will be able to trade back though. The T's get a weapon back in their camp. Not picking it up yet, however. Has dropped not so much in favor of them, but hey, it's a free M4. They're going to trade it out. No, nope, they're going to hold it. Word not looking to give it to a healthier player. Understandable, they've got a bit of armor still. Looks like they will try and waterfall out of the apartment now. Both finding one, two kills, three as a matter of fact. And it will be Keo taking away the no scope in the end there as well. The T's, unfortunately for them, are not able to get any more kills out of it. But it will be good for Arena. They take 13 now. Back onto a buy for Elemental here, however. It's going to be really critical they take this one because otherwise Arena may just have free reign to just take this map, send us straight through the dust, say, go next, GG, go next. Well, it's definitely looking like a GG, go next. The way Elemental play is so scattered in some of their takes towards the ace site, and Keo's already picked off Isaiah. Elemental, it just seems to not go right for them. Burning to the molly, 14 HP down for Keo, but still... Fighting the good fight here with Terry. He's going to be Terry backing off though. Forced to retreat. Word. Up through apartments. An arena. I got an inkling that he might be there towards Boiler already. They have an idea. We'll see if their ideas will be realized. As we head through into this one. Elemental taking nice and slow at the moment. <coughs> Not looking to see if there's anyone waiting for them just yet. Do have a molly preparing to be popped there. Terry ready for the push as soon as it could activate here. Looks like the T's will be flashed out. 
trying to flush some information here. No one going to be pushing just yet. The T's, no. Preparing. Do have a smoke in front of them. Could have a molly in a second as well. They're going to have to push through it. 34 seconds to go here, Tony. And they're going to have to really get a move on. Yeah, they're going to have to really, really get a move on. 27 seconds. The exec wants to come through. And it's all put to rest. Terry, Neo, absolutely huge hold to that site. Nothing an elemental could do, Matt. This stuck to a boss yet again because they've got the loss bonus, but this has been nothing short of brilliance here from Arena. This is eight straight rounds on the CT side. Fantastic uh, efforts to come uh, through there, Tony. Definitely eager to see how things go down. Terry's just staring at a smoke rolling away there. Maybe just pondering on uh, their options. They're throwing smokes in spawn. We're just playing a, a bit of games with it. You know, why not? Can respect it. Having a bit of fun with it, yeah? We'll see if they can have a bit more fun as well. Looks like the unpause does come through, though. Utility going to be strung all across CT spawn. They don't give a damn. They're going to be happy to have a lead here. T's stuck on pistols and uh, probably going to be put at a map point here, if I'm going to be honest, unless they can pull through a miracle. It is going to be certainly a tough one for Elemental. They really need to dig deep here. They haven't taken a single round so far, but maybe they can take this one. Because they've already done a slither of utility damage to the arena players. They just need to find the kills here to climb this hill before them. I'll tell you what, Matt, Arena, they're doing it for Marvin. Marvin qualifying for the international lane, and Arena, well, they're looking to keep the dream alive here. Huge shot coming through. Nobody can get past Keo. Isaiah, at least able to find one over towards the arch side with the tech denied, but traded immediately by Terry. And like that, 15 for Arena. 15 to 9. Been nine straight rounds. Match pause. Elemental. They've got a lost bonus yet again, but what can they do, Matt? They're just getting run over. Arena have stopped them at every hurdle, and they try to go fast. They try to slow it down. It, nothing seems to be working. I think they just need to take a um, play out of uh, Two Tap Tony's playbook, you know? Just got to see if they can be the best goofy goobers they can be. Try and take a round here. Definitely got to have a bit of fun with it, you know? And that's how it should be. Plan it for a bit of fun. Plan to do the best you can here. We'll see how it all runs down, though, in round number 25 now. As we do see Elemental going to push up towards that banana side of things. The CT is looking pretty confident here. Tetris pushing through the middle. They don't give a damn. No one spotted them yet. They've already taken down the bomb carrier. Tetris, confidence peak there. Does find the trade, though, from Chief. Keo watching that bomb vigilantly and finds a kill. Another one bites the dust. It's all coming unfolded here. For the T side, they at least have found a trade or two, though. But it will all be for naught unless a Rory can pull something together here. One versus three situation. Oath on the flank. They're not going to expect this at all. Rory there. Tunnel visioned to what's in front of them. And it will be map taken by Arena there. We are going the distance, Tony. This is going to be in for the long haul tonight, everybody. We're going to D2, baby. Dust 2. Who would have thought after Elemental came out to such a strong start? It was 9 to 6. A colossal choke, I have to say. It's no easy way to put it. 10 straight rounds in Arena close it. And it for Marvin, Matt, and we're going to dust too. Yes, we indeed are, Tony. Super keen, super, super keen to see how it's all going to go down on dust too. We definitely had a good first couple of maps there. You know, Elemental, they looked confident at the start, but then after that overtime... I did manage to take it, obviously, finding it a bit of confidence in the first half of this map as well, but 
T-Side just seems to be their worst enemy. Like, I, I don't know what went wrong for them there. You know, they really tried their hardest, but definitely faced their fair share of struggles. Regardless, we'll let the players uh, recompose themselves before getting in to Dust 2. We are going to head to a short break, so don't touch that browser. We'll be back in a jiffy. See you soon.
Welcome back, everybody, to our uh, BioCode Lab LPL Pro CSGO here. My name is Matsy, coming at you with 2Tap Tony. And we are going to be getting into the final map of our series very shortly. The players are undertaking a uh, knife round at the moment, I believe, to pick sides out. So before we do get into the game here, we do want to say a quick shout out to our uh, to our sponsors here this evening. Quick shout out to Rockat, Samsung, Biocode Lab, Sky City Sky Slide, and definitely eager to see how it all goes down. Obviously, if you wanted to know how it goes down, our as our per our graphics here, you do see some good stuff already. Looks like uh, not going to be able to uh, sync up the way we want it to. But first map, Vertigo went the way of element of Elemental. Second map of Inferno went to Arena. So they've both taken away each other's map picks there. And we are going to be getting in to the uh, game right now, it would appear. So let's do this, Tony. Live into our decider. Dust to Elemental Arena. And of course, Elemental getting to start that CT side. It might be a burden for them. We saw it. Very favorable on Inferno now to Dust to Arena. Then you start the T side, three flashes, one smoke, and a headshot, Dink, to start it, Terry. And tags up a little bit, smoke on towards the box of sight. Tetris, though, strong shot with the P250 word holding the cross. This is a good spot to hold in, but you have to be cautious of a short peek here from Keo. Some shots not quite landing for Word. He's struggling to find the headshot. It is found by Rory in the end. There it is, Word, finally able to connect on his Word. Shot on to Oath. Two more players there. The bomb is looking to be planted by Terry Elemental. They have four for this retake. take. They're looking to come in swiftly up through the short side. And of course, going to be sending one through long. Isaiah, full steam ahead with that Glock train. And Rory takes that Terry. Looking to walk it up into Goose. And is going to be word to find it. Pistol going to be taking quick retake. Coming in there from Elemental. Pistol once again found. Matt, I have to say, Elemental. Not too bad at taking the pistols. Two for three in the first halves of these three maps. Good start there coming out of from our players. It will be Elemental to take point onto round number one here. And it looks like Arena off the uh, planet will be able to force up into this one. So looking to bring it back once again. Try and see if they can deliver a thing or two here. Obviously important to note, loser of this matchup will be eliminated from LPL Pro. So important to uh, note that. We'll see how it all goes down though. Reaps holding down the B side here. Has support of the teammate through towards the doors there. Looking to do a bit more. Reap's playing around the smoke. Teammate Rory goes down. Reap's still alive, still kicking. Does get the spot. Not able to get any damage just yet. However, does find it eventually. Plant goes down as well. Going for the reload there. Being so sneaky in this one. The T's don't know what hit him. Reap's and where to connect. And it will be round number two. Going the way of Elemental. At least for Arena, they get another plant down, though, Tony. They're going to be happy with that at a bare minimum. Yeah, they spill themselves the money. Can't be too sad about that one. Well, for the side of Elemental, they're thinking very, very highly right now. Of course, keeping three guns online and as well keeping their economy stable. Rory going to be pulling out the scout for this one, Arena. Well, forced into that previous, so there's only going to be a few deagles to play with in this one, and already Keo tagged down to 21, and Chief to finish off Tetris. Good start there, we'll see if they can consider it further, Rory, nice connection with the scout. Now already and waiting for more T's vigilantly. Word just dancing around it. Already has spotted two players and does take one of them out. It would seem Isaiah good to support the Endeavor. Taking them down. Leaving it up to Terry now in the one versus five situation here. Terry just going to be just jiggling that angle now. Taking a bit of damage. Unfortunately for them, it will go down to Rory. 
It will be 3-0 to zero in favour of Elemental now. A good, a solid start coming through from our Elemental eSports players. Yeah, but Matt, they were in this situation in both of the previous maps, so you can't hold your head, I thought, well, too long if you're Elemental Arena. It's a buy, but eyes, they are immediately next to shot there. Keo's taken out. And Arena put on the back foot once again. This time, Elemental, they're taking very, very aggressive fights. And this time, it's paying off. Arena, they don't have the players to trade because Dust is a map about angles. And Elemental, they've got them all worked out. Yeah, they've got their number in this one, Tony, and they're looking to see if they can uh, dial in on it even more so. Smoke to come through from word there, though. Cut off that short angle. Tease, they've taken point towards long. Got the player tucked away in the pit there, maybe just trying to fake out the uh, long control while the rest of their teammates work up short instead. The good shots from the CT is a bit of suppressive fire. Word, as well as their teammate in Isaiah, ready and waiting on short as well. The swing could come through at a moment's notice. Isaiah prepared for the flash, takes down Wine, a good trade coming out from Tetris though, now trying to hunt down Isaiah as well. Smoke comes out there, Tetris good for Wine, Terry onto another, Neo able to get onto it as well, traded back however, Reaps now two versus one. Fire comes out there, cuts off the plant temporarily. This is good for the CTs, the more time they take the better. Reaps now trying to stop this from occurring, Terry still alive, still... Oh my gosh, Reaps, this is amazing! Oh, they almost sneak past it even more so. Smoke goes down, fake a defusal there. Fade out Tetris, it works magnificently. What a play there. Reaps the Grim Reaper, reaping away the round for Elemental. Reaps the rewards, he puts a, uh, a dent in the mental here for Arena. I have to say, a sketchy play to go for too. He peeked in front of Terry there as soon as Terry checked his back. But 4-0 start elemental and reaps with a huge 2v1 clutch arena. Turn the back to a buy because the full loss bonus is now starting to stem through Isaiah. Whew. Quick little shot. Takes out Neo. And elemental, they've got all of the positioning of the map. You can see even word Playing around this short side smoke. There is two players looking to come up through mid. Make it three. But Neo has... Uh, sorry, Word has caught the timing. Keo has been taken out. And now, a few more players left to deal with them. Word needs to be a little bit cautious. So, he started to spot it. He's trying to spray him down. But Word just tucks to the left. Isaiah still scoped on the line. But not in the right position. Players slip past them and they don't even know it. Oath. Is creeping up right now. Huge flank is in order. And see you later to Isaiah and Word. The A side's completely smashed open there. CT is going to try and wrap their way through the short. And CT spawn. There's a gap in that cross smoke. So they might not even look to approach that angle at all. Just leave it down to their site player. In Oath there. Tetris going to be just chilling out towards Pit now. Rory looking to flash him out. Two players connecting from two angles here. Smoke comes out. Tetris is spotted. They don't go down yet. Nine HP on the player. One shot is all Rory needs. And they do find it. 2v1 now. All up to Oath here. Holding this car angle. The CTs. Rory has the incendiary grenade. Could be huge, but they don't know where they're going to be approaching from. Ooh, shots coming out. They are going to be spotted by Reeves. Good call coming out. They will get it. Going for the defusal. It's going to be a tight one. Ooh, they do get it in the end, though. Elemental take five in a row here. That was a close one. That was a close one indeed. But Elemental, they come out 5-0. and oh. Matt, this is, uh, this is not the result I was expecting of a team that just went down 10 rounds on Inferno once Chief came into the server. This is a strong start for Elemental Arena. Looking to do it for four Lex this evening. And well, for Elemental, they're looking to stop it in its tracks. Terry. No. Two-piece on to Rory Isaiah. Tetris has found Chief and Word. Oh, my Word needs to do something right now. Finding one onto Neo. 
A few more players have snuck through this mid wrap towards the B site. There is a player over towards the tunnel that they need to be cautious of that is going to be Reaps. Sitting close and tucked. Word. Throws a HE. Tosses it out and dunks on a Tetris. Reaps. Hasn't let his presence be known for the moment. Matt, he can't really afford to do anything to the cover of that smoke. Yeah, not going to be able to do anything with it here. Seems the CT is probably just going to concede this one. Only have a couple of smokes and a flashbang here. No further utility will be enabled. So, should see round at number six now. Go in favour of Elemental Esports. Definitely going to be satisfied with the outcome of that one if you are an Arena fan. As Arena do manage to put themselves on the board now. Round at number six going their way, five to one. We'll see if they can catch a bit more momentum going their way as well now. As it is going to be quite the journey ahead of them. Elemental Esports still though prepared for the journey. They've got a full buy on them, MP9 on Reaps there, AWP on Isaiah. And the T is looking to re-engage with AKs and a plentiful utility across. Let's see if they can take some more out of this one. As Keo now approaches Catwalk, looking to spot out Rory perhaps, or maybe even another, but Rory spots them. A good start already for Elemental, it would seem. Yeah, great start. Chief holding over towards Bedroom Door and the Moment Arena. They haven't been thwarted in their tracks. Losing a key player like Terry's not what you want to see. Chief, he's playing this great little off angle in pit. Tetris will be able to squeeze on in. Some shots. Oath. Attempt to run boost, potentially. Word has the headshot angle, but he is dinked up and taken out. Quick little pick, though, by Isaiah means that the man advantage still beholds elemental esports right now. But Rory is looking to trade it back. Jump shot potential. As the bomb gets planted here by Keo. He's got a few players to fight against. They're fighting against the odds. He's going to lose it out. Isaiah to find the shot. In the sixth round to Elemental Arena. At least they got the plan down yet again, Matt. They've got more money to work with. It's about the rounds. Absolutely, it is about the rounds there, Tony. And Elemental will be able to take number six there. So, Arena... Do at least get a plant down. Got max loss bonus as well. Finding a bit of potential for themselves there. Getting a bit closer to taking the Holy Grail. But unfortunately, it won't be this time around. It will be our CTs on Elemental. Taking point again. Arena, though. Looking to flow towards the B site. And now, got a bit of fire in front of them. Terry going to be stopped in their tracks. Good nade. Takes a bit of damage onto a lot of them. CTs have a good pincer angle. It's imperative Reap stays alive, though. They will a little longer. Their teammates ready to flank. Reaps. Smoke goes down there. They're on top of the box. Nice elevated angle. They find Keo around it. Their teammates now stabbing him in the back as well. Reaps not expecting Tetris. Isaiah not going to be taken down either. Good. A 3v2 situation now. The T's. They've got angles on the site. But the CT's have the man advantage here. Yeah, the man advantage. And they're looking to pop through tunnel right now. Tetris so. Has a high angle quick scope from Isaiah. It was a no scope actually on the Tetris, and now Oath's position has been known. Isaiah flakes down and clinical shot. Isaiah, he grabs his AWP and makes quick work. Wipes away the dirt, wipes away the blood elemental. Wipes away that round with a cheeky little 1v1 resay. And they will be able to secure it all in the end there. Arena coming so close. They had a great start getting themselves onto the site. And managing to really take flight there. But Elemental, they just secure. Taking themselves into seven now. T's still got a bit of cash behind them though. Considering the loss bonus. I don't know how long that's going to last them however. Looks like we could see a bit of action already towards lower tunnel. Rory ready, but not fast as a racing car will go down. Good trade from the Chief. Chief does get taken by Oath, though. Three versus four now. The T's starting to really lift up. Starting to put the pedal to the metal here. Let's see if they can find a bit more. Reap's taken down to 5 HP. 
Neo could find a kill onto Isaiah here. Nice start there. Now only two players remain. Both of them are one a shot, one kill each. This is a great opportunity for Arena. Word, though, still going to be a thorn in their side. Finding one towards the site. Ooh, okay, Reeves. Ooh, yeah, okay, Reeves. Finding Terry. Making it doable. Now you both see five and seven HP. Respectively for Reeves and Word. Collectively, that's 12 between them, Matt. Not high numbers whatsoever. One shot dead, both these players. The bomb will go down and A, Word forced to give that one up due to his position being over towards the bedroom doors. He's looking to send a HE towards short. That gets some good chip damage into Oath, but I don't think Elemental want to go for this one, especially given how low the economy is and given how low the HP bars are too. is going to be 7 to 2. Round given over to Arena. Yeah, like with such low HP, they can't really expect it to contend here. Their money is not as high as they would want it to be either. They've committed a lot to the round, so saving these two primaries, heading into round number 10, definitely going to boost their confidence a bit. Maybe they're going to buy out for a teammate, you know, maybe they can pull something together here, but I don't know. Could be a bit of an eco coming forward. Looks like they are going to commit to it, though. They're going to have, have a red-hot go at it. I've got rifles on at least four players. Rory, the only one stuck on the 5-7. Not too shabby. I respect it. We'll see if they can pull this round off, though. So the T's are already rushing towards the B side there. Terry going to be stuck on the other side of the fire. And does get spotted. Ooh, almost traded, but no. Terry is alive. And will be able to still make an impact for their team. Good way to come out of it. Still not coming out of it unscathed, though. The T's refocusing towards middle and short now, however. Looking to just wriggle their way in. Try and see if they can find something else in this round. Trying to find something in this round. A great little boost, though. The word could be the key point to note. Molly is good and shot from Isaiah. It's only off this building an M4 in Isaiah. Speak on his name and speak on his fame. Double up perfectly. Plays Terry. Open hands. Geo. The full HP. Smoke Molly. Two plays to find here for Elemental and Reaps. He's in a great spot. The plan secured yet again. I have to give it to Arena. They're able to get the bomb down despite the differential in players being alive. Geo. The other side of the smoke. Pops a shot. Terry down to 11. Geo. Is going to be the key difference maker. Swings on, but Reeves has got it. Hits the mark, and Word can charge him through. They know exactly where Terry is. He hits the flick onto Reeves. He's taken out by Word in the end. Oh, salvage. Round salvage. It is going to be 8-2 to two for Elemental. Elemental take 8 there. The people in the crowd are wanting a comeback story for Arena. Well, it's not happening quite yet, but you know, you never know what could be in the works for the rest of this half, let alone into the next half. There's still potential yet. Elemental will take a point on this half though. Taking number eight means that they are going to win by how much is going to be decided very soon. Tease though, advance straight forward onto the B site. Reaps tries to contend with them, not going to find too much out of it at all. We'll see if they can find a contest, though. The T's turn this into a 5v5 retake. What a util damage has already been done by the CTs, though. They're looking pretty confident so far. They could go for it, but it's still going to be a tough one. It is going to be a tough one. You can see that early Molly comes out. Word forced off the angle again. Three ninjas. And the self situations. To win out the round, and of course they have to play close perfectly. Geo, the prime spot there towards the door, missed shot from Isaiah. Very characteristic, and he is going to be pushed under the pressure. Tetris to take out Isaiah. Third round to Arena. Third round to Arena there. Things are looking good so far, Tony. 
And they do find the comeback and the reset onto the CT economy. So a great chance for them to take four, if not five rounds in the half. This is great stuff if you're an arena fan here. For Elemental though, they look to rush it straight down suicide now. It's going to take down at least one player. And uh, yeah, they, they find that one player. Almost a second as well. They now know where Tetris is lying. Threat. Oh, not going to be neutralized by the AK on Chief there. Only pistols now, but they do find Tetris in the end. So three on three. They've managed to retrieve a couple of weapons out of the round. Not too shabby to say the least, Tony. And it's going to be a potentially rough go once again for Elemental. Or stack the tunnel. This time for a win up. It's easy shots potentially from Rory, but of course the other two have caught a save. They've grabbed themselves some AKs. We're just going to be Rory trying to take away guns, make it costly, make it expensive. Arena, have none of it. Fourth round now on the trot for Rory. This is right. Let's do it again, Matt. This is what we see similar score lines. Arena ran at 10 in the second half once it went to 9 6. and this one's looking very, very similar story. Similar story indeed, Tony. We'll see if they are going to be able to bring this never-ending story to an end. On this last map here on to Dust 2. There's Arena. Pull through for the B-push now. Rory right around the corner. Not going to take down anybody. Reaps, though, finds two. Good nade. A bit of fire as well for good measure. Delay these T's from getting a plant down. They definitely will. Chief, good to trade back onto the death of word there. Two versus three now. CT is ready and waiting. Dropping a bit of util to one another. Getting prepared for this one. Molly goes outside the window. Smoked off by the CTs. Ready to push through. Terry on car as well. And here they come. 1v1 trade there. Terry been spotted on car as well. They do not have a grenade to stop them. Terry finds one. Isaiah. Good to find it back, however. And it will be round number 13. Secured a four elemental there. Taking us now 9 to 4 in their favor. A round they definitely needed, considering the state of their economy. And the defusal money going to be good to support them into the second last round of the half as well. But Arena, they're pretty comfy right now. They can afford to buy basically all the way through to the end here, Tony. Yeah, this... Well, it's nine to four, Matt. This is a... Uh... Same scoreline we saw from Arena on Inferno. We were able to take the last two. Go to six. Close it from there. This one to be an interesting one to say, especially with Elemental teetering on the edge of being broken. All Arena have to do is win this, find the fifth, and Elemental are going to be in bad, bad shape going into the final round. But of course, think about the here and now. Some early damage already done on Takeo. And arena and we're going for this long play there is two players stacked in this position that molly lands towards the front of the bedroom towards the front of the bedroom there and it will work out for chief good start traded back as well by chief again a word goes down and it will be isaiah now taking another one Big shout out to Forlex in the chat there, supporting Arena as well, saying, come on boys, you can do it. Big shout out to Forlex there, let's see if Arena can take their energy. Yeah, the big land champion coming through to support his boys, of course, taking home a dub and looking to see his boys take home a dub. Well, they're in a rough spot for the moment, but we've seen them come back from rougher states. Terry, sorry, Rory. Some great shots to come through, lining them up, and elemental. This time for the half, Matt, they'll find 10. And looking for potentially 11. Arena. They're in a rough state of affairs right now. They've still got money to buy, but Keo is currently 0 and 10, Matt. Yeah, it's been a bit of a rough one for Keo, hasn't it? Keo really was able to pop off on that AWP in the previous maps, but just hasn't found that potential so far in this one. 
Heading to CT, though, it could be different for them. I think that there's still opportunity to grow and recover here for Arena. Like, it's not all said and done yet. 10 to 4 is not bad. 10 to 5, even better. 11 to 4, it's still okay. There's still, you know, those chances there, Tony. Let's see if they can take a chance now on their push. Reaps does find one. Good start for Elemental. Traded back by Oath, though. One still on the back of Platt there. Going to be traded back. 3v3 now. CT's run around the corner. Word creeps through. Finds one. Traded by Terry. Isaiah trying to land a shot. Two versus two now. Looking to see if they can make some magic here. Yeah, Terry Neo versus Chief and Isaiah, and Isaiah with that orb. Of course, we wait to see where he decides to scope in from Arena. Ooh, he's gonna fly into the side, drop a shot into Plateau. Now the Chief has dropped through the same position, and Terry, he's gonna pick both up. Five rounds to Arena to the ten of Elemental. A little bit more one-sided this half time around, but Arena, a lucky five to find and. Well, now they get to swap sides, Elemental T, Arena to the CT, and Matt, we've seen Arena do it from the scoreline. All they need is the pistol and some confidence. Absolutely. Let's see if they are going to be able to bring that confidence here right now. Elemental Esports looking to approach from long now. Do have one thing to worry about in Keo holding the site right now. Let's see if Keo can land the kill here. Chief ready, trying to push up around the corner. Neo now ready to support as well as Oath. Keo, so close. Oath takes the kill though, not allowing Keo the first kill here. Let's see if Keo can do it now. No, the kills have been magnetized away. And it will go in favor of Elemental now. Two versus four situation here. Neo, gonna be able to trade one back. Oath, good for one HP. And it's all down to there. One shot landed and it's done. And it will just be that elemental. Taking 11 now. And they open the pistol. And they open up with the pistol. Elemental. Well, two for two. Pistols in this decider map, Matt. And what a way to... Really mark this one with some dominance this time around. Arena relegated to USPs and Elemental. They've got Galils and some AKs. Mac 10 2 for Chief just trying to get the cash stacked. And smartly enough, Arena denying them the opportunity to stack that cash because they've completely left the B side open for the taking. Plate goes down. Arena, they're just going to be playing for some cheeky little exits or maybe some cheeky little entries into the site. We'll see what comes out of them here. They're thinking about it. Pondering on the option. Ooh, Isaiah, don't do it. Don't do it, Isaiah. No. Oh. <laughs> so close to the Zeus there. The potential electrifying is going to be the CTs approaching through window now, however. They find a couple of kills out of it. Not too bad. No kid on them, though. They will be forced to stay back. Terry almost landed it. Does get a kill in the end there. Last one standing. Not too shabby. It will be number 12 taken by Elemental. And number 12. And getting a little bit scarily close here to that dreaded 16. And of course, though. Still a few more to find. Arena still have a buy for this one. And still might potentially have lost. Bone probably comes out early from Rory, but he's going to check hit for the moment. Neo on the other side of the smoke's not going to be able to find anything. Elemental come out on top on that engagement where they shouldn't be. Keo might have just spotted that player flying into Pip. But Chi finds it long range. Now this is rough. Oath and Tetris left pick up the pieces of a shattered puzzle and well for elemental they still don't even know where they want to go yet we'll see if they figure it out soon tony hopefully they can assemble the millennium puzzle there we'll see if they are going to be able to summon their true strength tetris and oath now just going to be stuck holding down the a site 
Not really sure where the T's are going to be coming from, but at this point, CT is probably just going to save here. They've got two smokes, a flashbang, and four rogue T's to deal with. Not much money, really, to use into this round either for our CT's, so... Going to be a bit of a rough one. At least Oath does manage to pick up the AWP, though, so they can save that out of the round with a bit of uh, relative confidence there. Elemental going to be close as Lightning to the uh, 13th round, though. So Arena definitely need to try and dig something up from deep within them in order to launch a comeback here because Elemental, they are on the edge right now. Yeah, they're on the edge right now. And of course, uh, the edge of glory here for Elemental. A few away from closing out. What has been an interesting series, I have to say, Matt. Definitely, after what we saw in Vertigo, 22 to 20. I was not expecting this very much one-sided affair of maps from both of these sides. And... But for Elemental, one-sided in the finals, the one that they want here, Arena. They're going to have to dig deep. They're going to have to dig deep into their pockets, but also the mental, also the strat pool here. Because, well, for Elemental, very much in control of their fate right now, Isaiah. Looking for an aggressive peek over towards the B site. But of course, Arena, they're not showing any presence, but they are towards mid Big little trade out, finding word, swinging through the doors. There's a board board there, but oh, glory. Impressive shot. Impressive shot. Oh, nice util. Nice nade coming through. Reefs. Let's find a bit of damage, but won't find the kills, however. Seems it's gone all higgledy piggledy here, and it will go awry. Arena. They strike back and take six now. This is exactly what you want to be seeing if you're an arena fan, Tony. Great stuff coming through from them there. Yeah, great stuff to come through around a lifeline been found and arena. I'll look to take it through to the next few elemental, of course. Relegated to pistols, maybe. Actually, no. Nope. Gonna fully force into this one. Galil and a few AKs. And of course. Almost no util on to Rory sending it out through that a long position and of course this time arena they're not looking to fight it No, they're just gonna be holding a steady this time and I can respect it They don't want to concede any presence that they've taken here. They just want to make sure that Things stay well and truly in order for this one We'll see how it all is gonna go down though Looks like the CT's four players towards the A site now. T's looking to dedicate similar numbers, maybe even all five as a matter of fact. Looks like at least a couple of the CT's might be wrapping off though, thinking, hmm, maybe it's a bait here, maybe they go B. Little do they know what's in store as the T's flow their way up long now, pushing towards the crossroads. No one going to be cutting them off at all. They could get free reign towards a plant out of this. Yeah, it's going to be free reign to a plant. They want it, but they still have to deal with these two players coming from short. One just on the other side of that smoke, but a quick little trade takes out Terry into this round. It's now Neo, Oath, and Tetris trying to find themselves back in the site before the plant can go down. Even word will be able to stick that one from behind the box. Just able to jiggle it out. Find the kill on the Neo. Also find the kill on the Oath. Word. Shouldn't be alive from that position, but somehow has come across with two. It is Tetris running for the hills, surrendering this one, waving the white flag and letting Elemental take 14. Yeah, running up that hill there like Kate Bush will be unfortunately not able to take much out of this round for Arena. Elemental, though, going to be taking a 14 now. Two rounds away from potentially being our series victor here. And definitely eager to see how it all goes down heading into these remaining rounds. The economy for Arena in absolute tatters. Tetris 
Gives away the M4, though. They've still got enough gas in the tank to buy up that much, at least. It looks like they are going to commit to it. Thinking it's now or never. They need to put their best foot forward in order to find something out of it. But they've already taken a lot of damage on Keo there. Yeah, a lot of damage dealt to Keo, who, Whoa, I have to say, nice. Matt, he's had a rough one, and the need to follow suit there. This is a rough situation once again for Arena. You can see that Terry, he's getting aggressive, but Elemental, they're just going to play for their defaults, and they're going to play for Arena to push into them. Even word close to the door here. Let's just check the corner. He does. Here we find one back. And you can see that elemental with that pick over towards a long. Are looking to go that direction, but you can already see that arena have rotated the short smoke gives good cross cover. And it can be through. Another on the chief. Oh, I'm not gonna make it towards the site. And oh, this is a rough situation now for elemental. Yeah, it's getting tough at the moment, Tony. We'll see how it does it go, though. Isaiah. Already am watching. Ooh, nice angle. Gets the leg on to Neo. Not a kill, however. There is a molly, though, which could secure it if they land it correctly. Flash coming out there. Reaps ready to approach onto the side. Spotting two towards CT. Getting one. Isaiah catches Tetris. It's 1v1 now. Oath. Stuck with 24 HP, Isaiah. Easy momentum for a plant here. Oath, though, just going to be running it through to long. Isaiah's planted for it. Oh, I don't know if they're going to be ready. No, they're not. Oh, they've just outplayed them. Big brain moment from Oath there. Easy open season. And it will be number seven around they desperately needed for Arena. Yeah, sometimes you got to keep your gun out and for the side of arena they keep their spirits in this one with that one v one they're great read from oath as you said wrapping through immediately day long as soon as that plant came through and not just catching the timing so so well elemental they still have two ak's forced into this one it is going to be a straight up tunnel rush and arena have read it they've got all sights set on and it is round done dusted like that arena find themselves eight an elemental now found themselves in a precarious position because all players can buy so they probably will but what does chief bring to the table a galil arena they've got money to work with but matt this one is going to be a dicey one here. Very limited in terms of firepower, especially with no orb for Isaiah. No cheeky little picks to come through. It's going to be a rough one without the AWP there, but there's still hope. We'll see what uh, does happen out of this one. Oath. Ready at doors now. Knows that there's a T pushing up from a lower tunnel there. Saw so where that util came from. Word giving himself away with a bit of shots. Does catch a slither of damage on the Oath now as well. Not going to be giving away too much more, however. The T is just trying to take that map control early on. Suppressive fire as well. Try and get a bit of damage. Maybe that can support their efforts. Looks like the A site is going to be well and truly cooked up and prepared, though. As the smoke comes through, and here they go, Tony. They're ready, and here they go. Uh, smokes to exec the cross towards the A site, and Keo flashed up blind on the peak. They are spraying them down, though, as nobody can enter this site. I think we'll trade them from Chief, but Reaps. Precarious position. And of course, Chief. Oh, last left alive. Arena shut that hit down. Completely to pray to come through pistol tap from Keo. Find himself another kill in this one, Matt. That's Keo's second of this game. But high impact kills 14 to 9 arena. Still afloat. Yeah, Keo having a tough one this time, but you know, they're still supporting their teammates regardless. Doing the very best that they can. Elemental looking to do a bit of that as well now. 
rushing through towards the B site. They've got a couple of players to deal with, and they're taking a lot of utility damage. Earth and Tetris holding it down now. Earth good for a couple. Same for Tetris, and Oath will find a three in the end. So, Arena take double digits now and put it only four rounds between them. I'll tell you what, when Arena looks down and out, they just seem to put these rounds together piece by piece. And uh, for the moment, Elemental. Still away from closing this one out, and what felt like dominant fashion early on is no longer. Arena have made this a game of the ages. And you can see Elemental. We're going to get cheeky with their approach this time. Up through mid. Up through the doors. All they have to do is smoke CT off. And Tio won't be able to see a thing. Just off the molly in return. Forces out of smoke. Which forces Elemental to walk through it. Isaiah has found a shot to start it off. And it's Oath now in this close corner towards the tunnel. He needs to in the corner. Player comes flying through for a quick trade. Isaiah finds another through the smoke. And Terry... Left to watch the world crumble at his feet. 1v4. Save off this match point from Arena. With Elemental, this mean the world. Find 15. The money was still there for Arena. They'll still be able to purchase. But of course, the confidence would be back in Elemental's favor. And well, Terry just has to give it up. You can't really do much about it. 15 elemental match in series point. Definitely going to be happy with that, Tony. If you are an elemental esports fan, they take it to map and series point there. One more round is all they need in order to secure their spot to further their journey in to the LPL Pro Season 2 here. We'll see how it all goes down. Pressing on into stage one here. As the T's now buy up everything they can. A CT is looking to bring the best that they can as well. They've got the AWP on Tetris there. And missing the first shot though. Opens up a longer for the T's now. They fall off. Do have a rogue lurker in Rory as well. Just looking to go on a bit of an adventure here. Tetris on a good little angle as well. If Anyone pushes the plat, there they go. Goodbye to Isaiah. So, 4v5. Nice start from Arena. That's the way they want to start it. And another great flick from Tetris. I have to say, been a key difference maker here. But of course, Rory back into two Neo. And Terry taken out of commission. And, well... They were tempting the fate of a rotate. They've pulled Tetris off this long angle, and that's unfortunate because now Elemental can completely walk up scot free with the cover of these smokes and a flash to cross. Word is going to be the key point to note. He needs to dodge out the shot and hit one back. Reeves. Now they know that Keo's underneath the site. The Molly comes through, and Rory, he just has to wait for swing to come through from this. Oath and Keo in the 2v3. And he's going to be Oath coming from this flank. Able to find a shot in a Rory. Now 2v2. High flash comes out from the long player. And two on this site here. Need a duck and get themselves into safe. Word. Able to hit the shot to Keo. The quick trade back by Oath. And he is able to find it. Oath keeps the game going. Arena. Able to find themselves 11. Fantastic efforts coming through from Arena there. Exactly as they have put it in the chat. Arena never give up. And they will be able to take 11 there. Pushing forward for overtime. Desperately, just like map 1. Looking to do it all over again now. We'll see if they've got that energy in them. Whether our supporters' prayers will be answered. Whether it could be. Round going the way of Elemental again. As Isaiah opens it up on the Neo. Good start there. And it could have be traded back by Terry. Could be traded back though. Keo to find one on to Chief. Instead, Keo is going to be preemptively spamming that smoke. Terry, a great little angle. Not every day we see him on the AWP Matt, Normally it's Keo, but he hasn't been feeling it as late. Good shot from Terry. And Tetris 
firing off here an elemental is up to reaps i don't think you can do it and of course the money Ooh, okay reaps i tell a lie great little spray down 25 kills reaps is definitely in a shining beacon for elemental in this one but of course he needs to get the bomb it's in the hands of arena a minute left on the clock and well still got a molly two mollies actually for keo and tetris and not really much reaps can do about the situation he's got a few bits of util too look to drop a smoke onto that bomb and pick it up but he's gonna have to take the fights kind of in a area situation Ooh. able to find the first he spots tetris on the door and reaps he's able to get up through short man this is amazing he's just running it down has the UCL as well to support him getting a plant down as quick as lightning CT's a try to Oh, the nade stops the plant. That's so unlucky there. Poor Elemental. Reaps are definitely cutting it close down to the wire, but it will be Arena to take it away in the end there. Still on a series point, Elemental, but Arena doing a great job to bring it back. Yeah, Arena still kicking for the moment early molly tags up chief but they are gonna go for the swing towards long they're gonna fight against these two players and oh chief no way he gets tetris through that smoke on the fadeaway neo go towards short and word he's just looking towards the whole tunnel the rest of elements will have the site they can go for the plant but isaiah's just gone for the kills he's picking them off elemental where does this come from word to find oath and it's just terry left in the one v4 we've seen some heroics from terry but it's not gonna happen this time around isaiah to put the nail in the coffin and put arena six foot under 16 to 12 elemental are able to close out the series two to one but a hard fought game by arena i have to say Great stuff to come through there, Tony. For Elemental, as they do manage to take it away in the end at 16 to 12. A very hard fought effort, though, coming through from Arena. They really cut it down to the wire there. They had a bit of a struggle at times, but taking 12 rounds, definitely nothing to shrug at either. As they do manage to compose themselves as best they can in order to secure a victory here will be for elemental but my word tony what a good night we've had eh yeah it's it's been a, it's been a long one it's been an interesting one and always a pleasure to be back on some counter strike with you my friend of course a quick shout out to all you in chat that join us this evening because it was a long one and well coming out on top two to one elemental able to close it out and props though to the side of arena of course it's not an easy feat having to to play without such a uh, a key impact player like Forlex. and of course we saw Forlex do some big things as one of those impact players at the land but you know it's 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 always a very demoralizing thing and arena had a, a firm handshake to them for coming out and playing their heart out this evening absolutely tony they did a great job all throughout this evening and I am very keen to see how things go heading into our future. Do want to say a big shout out to our uh, sponsors for this evening as well. Big shout out to Rocket, Samsung, Biocode Lab, and Sky City Sky Slide there for our Biocode Lab LPL Pro CSGO Season 2 here. Definitely a big shout out to all of our lovely sponsors there. And yeah, a great uh, turnout to say the least, for our um, series all throughout there, Tony. You know, obviously, we did see the maps go the way. Vertigo going Elemental, Arena take Inferno, and Elemental managed to take away the third map there as well. Obviously, just having a bit of trouble syncing up our graphics here, but you can think about who's won in your head, and then, you know, you'll be able to get that picture painted there. <laughs> Regardless... Big uh, awesome show tonight. It will be Elemental Esports advancing forward in LPL Pro now, Tony. And uh, do, you, do you have any uh, closing statements here? 
Uh, a shout out to the fans, a shout out to our uh, lovely admins as well. And of course, a shout out to the teams. That game couldn't have been possible. Of course, the rematch wouldn't have been possible without them. So a, a firm handshake to both teams, firm handshakes to LPL as well for, you know, inviting our teams back so they can play this game this evening. So good to see it all work out in the end, Matt. A pleasure as always. Absolutely. Pleasure to have you on board there, Tony. Pleasure to be doing some CSGO again. Big shout out to LPL for bringing us on for a change. You know, it's, uh, it's not the usual suspects. It's actually some of the old uh, Challenger casters. So big shout out to LPL for bringing us on for this one. Definitely appreciate it. And we'll hope that the rest of our pro season goes well as well. Regardless, that's going to be all from us for tonight, everybody. Get excited for the rest of the pro season heading into the future weeks and you'll be seeing more of our wonderful teams heading into the future. But that's going to be all from us for now, everybody. So peace out, have a wonderful night and we will see you in the next one. Ciao for now.